What up, guys? We are live. Second podcast of the day. It's like Christmas came early. So if you guys didn't see it, I did an epic debate panel uh, at 4 o'clock today. It was a lot of fun. This is going to be totally different. We're doing a speed date. You guys are already familiar with this, but we got Courtney joining us as a newcomer. So let's give her a big round of uh, welcome, I guess. And then Eden is our regular. And I love having Eden on because in addition to being fun and flirty, she's also really good at giving feedback, which I think is a rare quality. Uh, so I know when Eden gives feedback, like vast majority of the time, it's going to be spot on. The same thing that I would say. All right, cool. So yeah, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to drop the link. We actually have someone backstage already. It is QB. What's cracking? What's cracking, Alex? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. I'm a little. I'm a little disappointed you missed the panel today, though. I know. <laughs> I got you on the next one, though. I had to uh, fill in with a different black pillar. Yeah, not the cool one. <laughs> well, that remains to be seen. Um, all right, QB. So, do you want to go on a speed date with Eden, Courtney, or both? Mm, I think I want to do both. Both. All right, brave man. Cool. Okay. I'm going to take myself off for five to six minutes. All right. All right. How are y'all ladies doing tonight? Good. How are you? Awesome. Y'all both look fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. So do you. Appreciate that. So um, tell me something about yourself, something that you probably don't tell most men, maybe that you keep a secret. That's very interesting about the both of yourselves. Courtney, you can go first, girl. <laughs> I'm buffering. Um, I guess one thing about me, it's not really a secret, but I'm a former uh, professional cheerleader. So I guess that's kind of interesting. Nice. Flexibility. Um, but it's for like a new type of football league. So developing, it's in the works. But yeah, I did like last a, season with them. Like arena football or? Um, no, it's. It's basically the people that ride the bench. Uh, they all get oh. put in one league. No, there are some good ones too, um, but it's called the USFL. They're awesome. Yeah. Um, did it for last season, cheered for all eight of their teams, um, and I hope to do it again this season. Okay, cool. Eden? Uh, it's difficult, something I wouldn't tell a man. I mean, I wouldn't really tell you <laughs> then, I guess, but I have um, – over 20 tattoos. I have a dog. Nice. I used to be a competitive dancer and I was in the fashion industry for 10 years. Most people don't know that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right on, right on. Mm -hmm. So it seems like both of you ladies are into fitness. Okay. So is a guy exercising important to what you look as terms of physical traits? I would say <clears throat> yes. Just, um, not like every day it doesn't have to be excessively but just to the point to where you're staying at least healthy that's important to me because that's something that i uh do so i'd want that in someone that i'm with yeah i definitely agree with courtney i think that i mean you don't have to excessively be at the gym all the time I actually mm -hmm. i personally don't love that um mm -hmm. i think just healthy and having a hobby that is more athletic is wonderful i think um but it's it's not a make it or break it for me per se, as long as you are healthy, that's it. Okay, right mm -hmm. on, right on. Mm -hmm. So I'm a guy that is active in the gym. I love to travel. Um, recently just got back from Peru. What are some of y'all ladies like hobbies that you guys like to do when you're not at work? Besides shopping. <laughs> um, definitely travel as well. Um, I'm from Alabama, but I'm actually up here visiting my cousin um, now. So really fun. Love to do, do, you know, travel as much as I can. Take advantage of that while I'm, you know, young and single. So. Okay. And where are you visiting your cousin at? Um, I'm in New Jersey right now. We went into New York earlier today, um, but I'm going back home to Alabama tomorrow. So super fun. <laughs> nice. Eden? Uh, my hobby is a little bit boring, I guess, reading and journaling and uh, yoga, um, just honestly spending time with myself, self-care, things like that. Um, a hobby that's now turned into a business is what I do as a dating coach and making YouTube videos and things like that. So 
Um, that kind of falls into the hobbies for me because it's something that I do for fun as well, um, but just so happen to make a business out of it. So nice, nice. Mm, okay, interesting. Um, what is like the wildest thing y'all ever did that you would only tell like your best friend? Not something I'm going to share with you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You tried though. You tried. Right, Good question. Right, right, Good attempt. Right. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you then? If you're going to ask the question, then you have to answer. Um, that's a tough one. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, I don't know. One time I got really drunk and almost got arrested. Um, uh, basically trying to like save somebody from getting a DUI. Uh, never will do that again. <laughs> How do you save someone from getting a DUI? They were taking the sobriety test and I was like, yo, you don't need to do this. Stay in your car. And like the police were like, you're impeding an investigation. I'm giving you like literally five seconds to walk away. Um, so my friend just yanked me and we, we, we headed out, but that was definitely a close call right there in that situation. Yeah, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I can't relate, um, but that's interesting. Sounds right. like you're a good friend though. You at least try. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it happens. Um, any, any future goals in terms is like what you guys want to do in life and um, <clears throat> damn. all right. Okay. Alex always comes in at the worst time. All right, so uh, Eden knows the drill, but Courtney, so what we do is after the speed date, I'm going to ask you, would you? And you have to be brutally honest. It's totally okay if the answer is no. It doesn't matter if the answer is yes, right? I just want you to be brutally honest. Would you go on a second date or just a first date with you be? And when I say second date, I don't mean in a platonic way. I mean in a romantic way. Um, wait, I go first? Uh, Eden can go first. Okay. Uh, do you want me to answer if I go on a date and then give advice or advice first? Uh, no, say whether you go on a date for, uh, first and then give advice. Um, personally, no. I didn't feel any interest or spark. I was a little bored, to be honest. Okay. But nothing nothing personal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about, what about you, Courtney? Yeah, I, I would have to agree. Um, I am someone, I have a lot of energy. I, I seem a little boring right now. I'm just a little tired. Um, but... I wasn't getting that energy. So, and that's something that's really important to me uh, moving forward to the next, a second round. So. Okay. Let's, let's jump into the feedback. I wrote down a few things as well. Uh, you want to go Eden? Okay. Um, so I think that it was very interview style, which I think is something that makes everyone feel uncomfortable and you don't allow the other person to be themselves. And I know that the questions you were trying to target, you know, us and our personalities and what we were into so that you can, you know, have something to jump off of and build conversation. Right. However, when right. you're like, okay, tell me about this or do this, like you're setting it up to be like on the spot and it's just not organic. A conversation is a back and forth. So you have to find something that's common ground by just having good conversation, showcasing your personality and your interests, and maybe she can build off of that, guiding the conversation rather than laying down the law and being like, okay, now go and make conversation. Mm -hmm. That made me feel um, a little bit uncomfortable, and that's where it got boring because I was like, oh, God, it's like one of those dates, you know? So um, that's just a, you know, a good tip going forward. Be careful okay. with the questions you ask. Make sure it's more organic rather than interview style. Uh, Courtney? Yeah, I agree. Um, I would say like dive in deeper to their interests. And like, I understand it's kind of the first date, but like, if you're talking with someone there and they say they're passionate about traveling, just say like to feed off that, oh, where's like the your favorite place that you've traveled? And then just kind of dive a little bit like deeper into that, I would say. It did feel very like interview style for sure. Mm. So in addition to what you girls said, I wrote down a few other things. So this, this the first one may sound kind of like irrelevant, but I just picked up on it. For the first minute, you had your hand like on your throat. Yeah. Which, yeah. It's good oh, that yeah. you stop doing that, but just like be aware of that because that looks like you're trying to like do BDSM on yourself or something. Okay. Uh, so, for example, the uh, one part where Eden is like, oh, nothing I would ever share with you with the wildest thing you've ever done. You know what I would say when she said that? I'd be like, oh, come on, Eden. I'm not just anyone. How can you say that after we, all we've been through? So I turned into like a fun little role play and kind of like banter off her. 
Uh, also, I would have a crazier story on tap. So whenever you ask a girl a question, you have to expect that they will ask you the same question. So I would have just like, you know, in, in the back of my mind, I have like two or three crazy sexual stories. That if a girl ever asks me, I can't answer right away. You know, I'll be like, yeah, the one time this chick used my hand to figure herself so hard that she fucking gave herself her period <laughs> early. And then she had to go home and she was like crying. Like, you know, I just have those stories like on tap. So if a girl ever asks, I can just go right away. Because sometimes, you know, if you have more time, for example, if you share a crazy sexual story, then the girl becomes more comfortable sharing stuff herself. If you share a story that's not sexual at all, then the girl is not going to go sexual because she's waiting for your lead. But if she sees that you share like a really crazy sexual story, you know, she'll be she's not not guaranteed to do it, but she'll be more likely to reciprocate with that kind of energy. Gotcha. Gotcha. OK. But yeah, thank you so much, KD. I appreciate you coming on. Dude. All right. Y'all ladies have a good one. I'll holler at you later, Alex. All right, dude, for sure, buddy. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. Courtney has just lost her uh, speed day virginity. <laughs> How did it feel? I'm honored. Well? I'm, honored. I'm honored. I was a little uncomfortable, but I'm, it's fine. I'm good now. So that wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get on hey, our favorite up? neighborhood Russian. Hey. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. Hello. Pretty good. Hello, so uh, what are you thinking? Uh, let me get Courtney. Courtney. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have a tough act to follow, though. Oh, ready for the challenge. All right, cool. I'm going to take me and Eden off for five minutes. Hey, enjoying your uh, Sunday fun day? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's going to be hard to get back tomorrow, but it's fine. Yeah. It's going to be a good week. It's my birthday week, so I'm really excited. Oh, yeah? Birthday week? Yeah. How are you yeah. celebrating? I honestly have no idea. Um, I haven't planned that. I don't really plan far ahead, but yeah. Um, yeah, I literally booked this trip on Wednesday. So yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <You're> a, <laughs> I just figured it out whenever I get there, you know. Oh, cool. I take it you're a spontaneous girl, eh? Yes. Yeah, I would I would say that. That's awesome. Well, I'm gonna give you an idea for your birthday week. Okay, that sounds good. So the main place you're going back to is Alabama, right? Yeah. We're gonna make a few stops along the way. Okay, that'll be hard because I'm flying, but it's fine. Oh, oh, you're flying. Okay, well, gives me enough I would time. not drive from New Jersey to Alabama. Oh, you're in New Jersey right now, right? Yeah, I'm in New Jersey. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm somewhat close to New Jersey. I'm in Philly. Well, depending okay. on which part of Jersey you're in. Yeah, I was actually there over the summer for like literally a very short amount of time, and it was on complete accident. Oh, yeah? yeah. We're about Philly, did you venture to? I, I don't know. I landed at the airport and then I had to take like a two hour Uber somewhere and then go to another airport and then fly from there to, uh, yeah. or we flew into uh, Cleveland uh -huh. and then we went from Cleveland to Canton, Ohio. So it was a little crazy. That's pretty awesome. Hopefully you at least picked up one cheesesteak along the way. I actually did, but it wasn't this summer. It was last summer. I flew yeah. into that and it was at the airport. It wasn't even like a real one. You know, but it was still good. That's awesome. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to get you a nice Philly cheesesteak, <laughs> a romantic date. That's perfect. That That's actually perfect. I'm a foodie. Yeah. I love any kind of food. So. Okay. Tell right. me more. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, my I'm from the South, so anything. Well, not really greasy. I don't like greasy food. Yeah. No greasy. Uh, mm, yeah. I don't know. It's really hard to pick my favorite. I like them all. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Southern girls. So like, you know, a spicy Southern girl. Uh, um, that's a foodie. That's actually, yeah, it's a, it's a Cracker Jack prize. Oh. Pun not intended. <laughs> nice. Um, wait, is it is that a brand? I feel like I've heard of that before. Sorry. What, what brand? Never mind. Never mind. We, can, we can keep going. We can keep going. Neighborhood Russian? Yeah, I'm a brand. No. Uh, oh, what were we talking never about? Never mind. Never mind. It's already in the past. We're going to move on. So. There you go. We can move on. I'm a spontaneous person, so like you know, I can make anything work. Okay. Um, what's like your biggest, like most spontaneous thing you've done? Most spontaneous? All right, uh, I'll let you take a guess. You, you get one guess, so make it count. I don't know you. Uh, skydiving. You, you seem like a skydiving guy. Damn girl, how'd you know? No, I'm kidding. Is that really? I was like. <laughs> I have thought about it before, though. No, um, probably like go to a new beach. That's a pretty interesting experience. Yeah, it's not for everybody, but like if you kind of just go and you like don't pay attention to anyone, you just you know do your thing. You get the full tan, so you don't get any awkward tan lines. I've never thought of it that way. No, nah. that actually makes I, all the sense. Yeah, no, we don't have, have those. Oh, um, have you ever gone like skinny dipping? It's kind of fun. Have not, I have not. Got, 
All right, if the first date goes successful, I'll take you skinny dipping. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be from point A to point B. It's gonna be okay, like yeah, there's no middle ground in there. That's fine. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right, so Courtney, same question. Would you go on a second date with uh, Greg uh, in a romantic sense if you guys lived in the same city? Um, sure. <laughs> no, no, you, you don't sound convinced. Like, absolutely not. I That's like when my mom is like, hey, so do you want vegetables with your salad? <laughs> I'm like, um, sure, I'll eat those I vegetables. Mean, <laughs> yeah, he seems fine. So, and like I was saying earlier, um, really looking for like exciting, someone that's like keep going to keep me on edge. And that, you know, seems like him. Pretty edgy guy. I got you covered. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's, let's get into feedback. So Eden, Courtney, what do you think thinks he did well? And what are some things you think you can improve on? Courtney, do you want to go first or? Um, sure. Yeah. Like I was saying, you seem like adventurous and you also seem pretty like confident and those are things that I look for. So that's, that's great. Um, I think that Greg, hi again. Hi. <laughs> I think you did a really good job at the beginning. Like I think that mm -hmm. it was a really good pace. You seemed extremely confident. I loved that you guided the conversation. You were planning her birthday. This is so amazing. Like, I think this is a great tip for guys. If a girl is saying she's like thinking about doing something, you going in and being like, okay, I've got some ideas for you, you know, and like showing that you're spontaneous in that way and then injecting some flavor of what you would do or what you think she should do shows a little bit of that dominance that you can plan, like all these good qualities that girls yeah. look for as well right off the bat. So I think that was amazing. You had some fun with it. You listened to the details. You were specific. You kind of, you know, you showed her that you listened. These are really good things. Um, the plane thing when she said that, okay, like, but I'm actually flying, you could have been like, no problem, and then continued on. There was a bit of like a kerfuffle to get back into that because I uh, thought okay. it was such a good group. Um, but whatever, not a big deal. The point where I feel like it kind of got a little cringe for me, Courtney, I saw you get a little bit uncomfortable for a minute there was when you started saying, oh, well, I love Southern girls and like whatever you said post that. Um, be careful with that because like nobody cares if you love Southern girls or not. We're both trying to feel each other out if we even like each other. So like you're, you saying that I like Southern girls is like, okay, I don't really care because what if I don't like you right now? But I think that everything else was so good. I think I just saw that was the point where it got her uncomfortable. So be careful because you were oh, on really? the wave. I, mean, I was actually surprised because I thought you were going to say something else made her uncomfortable. Tell me. I, let's hear it. No, I saw very like, different. Because I, I just seemed it wasn't like a place like you could sexualize, but you shouldn't go too much. So I thought like maybe like the skinny dipping or like the. No, the I know Greg too well. I knew exactly what he was gonna say. I think that, <laughs> I think that you saying you saying here's what we're gonna do already creates that intimacy. Okay. Right. right? She didn't ask if you're coming or not. You just met, but like we're gonna do this, and yeah. then you could have you could have gone to like after dinner. Then I'm gonna take you here, and then I'm yeah. gonna do this, and I'm, yeah. towards the end you could have sexualized it after you showed her that you're okay. fun, and cool. Fair and Right. Gotcha. But I think you did a really great job this time, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's much yeah. Better. So first of all, it's good to see that you're consistently doing better. So that kind of shows you it's not just a one off fluke. So that's awesome. If we take your first three speed day performances, <laughs> average them out and your last three speed day performances, there's a humongous, very noticeable difference that no one can ignore. Uh, so I don't have any big things for you. I'll just name two small things. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all is body language. You're, you're really leaning in, I get, because your phone is down, but leaning in is not that idea. It might be more like leaning back, right? Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a good example of this either because I'm always <laughs> leaning in because I'm not. say anything. But, but do as I say, not as I do. Uh, <laughs> the second one, this is, again, very minor, but um, when you kind of tease her, uh, when she's, she gets skydiving, you're like, damn, girl, how do you know? Hold, hold the silence a little bit longer. Because that's okay. really what gives the joke flavor. You're like, damn girl, how do you know? Just kidding. Right? That there's no impact, but you're got like, it. damn girl, how do you know? Just kidding. Right. Just a little you, bit you, more, I got just you. a little bit longer. Hold okay. a little bit longer to add to the film. Noted. I'm gonna be note maxing next time. <laughs> or you could be just like creepily awkward. Damn girl, how do you know? I should <laughs> that as awkward as possible. No, I probably should be just like just kidding. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah no. cool. Awesome, buddy. Hey, thanks, guys. On. Appreciate it. Bye, Greg. Hey, peace out, guys. All right. Let's keep the party going. Jake. Yo, what's up? How you doing, dude? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So 
I'm definitely going Eden. No, no shade on Courtney. You look great, okay. but uh, I've been waiting for this date for a while. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. Waiting for a while. All right, Courtney, I'm going to take both of us off for five minutes. So how you doing, Eden? How, how was your weekend? It was really good. Busy. Um, just got back from some Christmas shopping, but yeah, that's it. I can see you got your uh, your tree back there. There's no lights though. This is not a Christmas tree. This is a money <laughs> tree, my friend. Listen, I don't know how they do it in in uh, what's Toronto, right? Toronto. <laughs> where Isn't are you from? from? Yeah. From Boston area. Oh, nice. Okay. So you yeah, think Torontonians just pick up weeds or like random plants and put? Oh wow! Okay. I'm not here. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge. All right, it's it's totally cool with me. I do think it needs like a little star or a couple ornaments, though. We got it. We got to work on that together. I, you know what? I agree. I just don't know if that plant's gonna hold up all of the decor you're thinking. So, you are you getting an actual tree? Or are you are you the Grinch? So I am the Jewish Grinch. I don't actually celebrate Christmas. Oh, okay. <laughs> but other people in my life do, so yes. I'm buying presents for them. You know. So you, so I don't see, um, what is it called? Uh, shit. It's okay. Uh, you, you, menorah? Is that what it is? Menorah, yeah. I don't see a menorah yet. Is that, is it because it's coming up, right, in the next couple of weeks? It's a little too soon. It falls around the same time as Christmas. So I think we still got time. I'm not, I'm not really a festive person, per se. <laughs> You're not a festive person? Not what? really. You got to tell me more about that. Like I, I don't see myself decorating for like different seasons or holidays. Really, I think it's beautiful when people do it, but I just, it's just not something I enjoy doing. I'm pretty like simple and easy, and not interested in all that fluff. Um, kind of cringe for me at times. So, yeah. Uh, holiday spirit, even even for the Jewish holiday. I'm the Grinch. I'm the Grinch. Yeah, we got we got some work to do. We got we got a, actually we got a lot of work to do. But don't worry, <laughs> we'll, we'll get you we'll get you on the right path. I'll uh, oh. start researching uh, the most fun Jewish things to do for our day. Um, okay, so tell me, tell me about winter in Toronto because I've been to Montreal in the winter uh, quite a bit actually, but I've actually never been to Toronto. Where would you take me? Where are we going? In the winter? Yeah, I'm from uh, Boston, remember? So I know how to deal with snow. Yeah, well, you know, I've been here my whole life and I still don't know how to deal with it. So I'm gonna say we can do like somewhere indoors with a fire pit. Ooh, that? wait, an indoor <laughs> fire pit? Are you even really Canadian? No. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. Indoor I, fire pit? Come on. No, I'm I honestly, I'll be honest. I wish I was more into like winter and all of that stuff. And I do go outside and I go on walks and you know I go through trails and things like that because I have a dog. But if I did not have a dog, I don't mm. think I would really leave my house as much. It's it's We're too cold. Where is said dog? Because I do not see dog jumping on your lap or hanging out on the couch behind you. Or I see a picture of alleged dog. That is the alleged dog. Um, she is sleeping right now because she's, she was, she's well behaved. Uh, no, she was harassing me a few minutes ago. But uh, <laughs> now so she's, she's tired, you know. So she's me. troubled just like her mom then. Struggled? Trouble, trouble. Oh, I said she struggled like her mom. Like, ouch. Um, trouble? Mm, depends who you ask, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing. I, I like to deal with a little, just a little bit of trouble. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, all right. So tell me, tell me a little bit more about these tattoos. Cause I have, I have a back piece and I'm getting this arm uh, sleeved up in the spring, um, but you got 20. So you got me beat. So tell me a little bit about your favorite one. Oh, um, I'm going to make you pick too. That's tough. Uh, okay. I think I'm trying to see, I think, one of my favorites is this one over here. Um, I, and, for this. I know Alex is going to ding me on this, but I got it. Okay. What does it say? <laughs> it says gem. And that's um, one of my dogs that passed away. So very sentimental. And I just yeah. I love her um, and miss her very dearly. And then I have an eye on the back of my neck, which I got with my cousin. We have matching ones. Um, I love that one. And then I have one on my lower back that's a little bit risque, but I love it. Truthfully. Okay. Does, yeah. it, does the one on the back have a backstory? Because like I've got a thing, a, such a thing for tattoos with backstory. My my back piece has a backstory. The sleeve has a very like it, okay, you know, so tell me, backstory to tell me. Tell me so. the backstory of your back. Piece. Oh, we got to save that for our romantic day. I won't have nearly enough time, but it's paying homage to my grandparents who uh, came over from Spain during the Spanish Civil War. So oh. I'll tell you more about it on our date, though. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So my, um, there's, I don't really have much meaning. God, oh, hello. <laughs> Alex, you got to give me more time. Come on. I've been waiting for this one for a while. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Uh, all right, Eden. So same question. Would you, uh, if you were single and in the same city as Jake, uh, go on a second date with him in a romantic sense? Yes, definitely. Okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, so let's get into feedback. What are some things he did well and what are some things he could improve on? Um, Jake, I am heavily impressed uh, with everything. Um, I think that you were really comfortable and confident. You kept it fluid, even in moments where I wasn't giving you a lot, which I was testing you a little bit there. You kind of jumped in and you're like, there's no awkward silence. You're like, I'm cool with a little bit of silence. I know what I'm going to say. Um, you know, you listened to kind of like, I guess, the other live dating and you knew about my tattoos or you could see them, let's say in real life, if you were on a date with somebody. That's what, yeah, them. that's what I tried to use. Like super easy. It's a little bit cheesy at first when you started talking about tattoos. So I was like, oh, but then you kind of made it fun. You're like, I'm going to make you pick. And like, you know, and you were on me about that, which I really liked. That showed a little bit of dominance without being aggressive or making me feel uncomfortable because it was playful. And then I love the fact that you did future projections with, I'm going to tell you about my back piece, but on our second date, you know, like you're not getting all of that right now. You're going to give me some, I'm going to get what I want from you in this moment. And then we'll save, you know, the best story or the bigger story of my back piece for later, which I love that kept me kind of on a cliffhanger there. thought that was cute. You did not sexualize me in like an uncomfortable way. I just think it was great. You, you know, I said I was Jewish. You still played along with it. I mean, everything you just, you killed it, Jake. And yeah, I don't see that sure. a lot. I think the only mistake you made is when a girl says she's Jewish, you have to bring up uh, Kanye West. Like, girls really love that. Okay. Listen, I, I honestly, uh, it hit my mind. I was like, I'm not even fucking touching No, that. yeah, it's better not. I'm half, I'm, half, I'm half Jewish, so I can make those jokes. All right, Courtney, uh, you have any feedback? Um, yeah, no, I agree with everything that Eden said. Um, also, just you were just so confident, able to keep or carry conversation so well. Um, and I think that's great. Those are hard characters characteristics to uh, find in any kind of guy these days so yeah I think you did well I actually have really no like big improvements for you uh, I'm not gonna like nitpick over like tiny little things which could just be a different stuff personalities I think you did uh, really well uh, you calibrated well it was a good combo yeah you're, you're killing it my man thank you I appreciate it just wanted to uh, give a shout out to Alex again Guy doesn't ever, you know, shout out his product ever in his in his in his uh, videos, and you know, like I've gotten better because of him. So if you guys are sitting on the sidelines, not practicing like me, Greg, and some of the other guys that are consistently doing this, like I don't know, I don't know what what you guys are doing. Like at least you know, reach out to him or whatever, or get his product. Like speaks for itself. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no worries, man. And then, uh, and then, Eden, I was dead serious, by the way. I, uh, I've been waiting for a while to, uh, to go on this date because I, ha I think you have like the really good blend of, um, of like endearing good feedback, like practical feedback. So, and then you have this like touch of like, like trouble that I like. So, anyways, I, I was legitimate. That was not just a line. So, anyways, I'm, I'm gonna hit you up on uh, IG. Thank you very much, Jake. I appreciate you. Cool. All awesome. right, guys, have fun. Have a good night, buddy. Yeah, also, I announced this in the private chat, but anyone, so we have, a, we have like, I don't know, maybe 10 guys backstage, but if you want to do both girls at once, you get to skip the line, because I find that more entertaining. So just an FYI, you don't have to do it, but if you're willing to, then you get to skip the line. All right, and with that, we got this guy who said he wants to do it. So 360 hyper drunk. Oh, my. Alex, I'm a very big fan of your show. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Uh, we can hear you. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, feedback. But, yeah, man, thanks. I appreciate that. Okay. I just uh, I just wasn't sure. Oh, it says I'm in. Okay. No, I, th I think you're fine. Yeah, Shoot. I think it's all good. I kind of regret doing this, now, but that's all right. No, come on, man. It'll I, go away. I'm also waiting for this moment, too. All right. So, I'm not, like, I, always, I always watch, like, like it's so funny. Like, I, like, I always watch your, like, YouTube stuff, like, like I, I discovered it, like, a couple months back, and, I, and I've been watching you like, ever since, you know. Nice. Cool. All right, buddy. I'm going to take myself off. Right. Do your Shoot. All right. What's up? I, I, I kind of, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I kind of, now, now that like this moment hits, I'm, I'm, I just like, really. but also yeah. like, I'm also here to do, do this because it's hard. So you got this. What's your name? 
Kevin. Kevin, okay. So I, I mean, I could, no, 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 you can just call me 360 hybrid. It's fine. It's I'm fine. calling you Kevin. No way am I calling you whoa, Kevin. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, I, I don't care. Though. I'm not going to lie. Like I, like, I feel like I get more shy when people are, like, nicer. I don't know why. Like, you <laughs> know what I mean? Like, when, like, but, like, if, like, a girl just, like, is, like, is, like, just, like, flat out mean, like, just, like, you know, says, says it is it's just, like, really rude. Like, I feel like I'm, like, less nervous. I don't know why. Maybe because you feel like you don't really care as much because she's being rude to you. And yeah, so, yeah. you know, so that kind of goes away. But you just lean into you, like, Kevin, just yeah. have a conversation. We're human beings. Like, yeah, no. who cares? No, I just feel like, like, I'm, maybe I'm just getting so nervous because, like, I'm seeing my face, like, on the thing. Like, I don't know. Normally, when I talk, like, I don't see my own face, like, like on the on the stream or thing. So I'm like, oh, shoot. But... No, don't look at yourself. Look at anybody else but yourself. All right. You got it? Yeah. There you go. Now let's go. <laughs> you got it. You're doing great. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, like, I don't care if, like, okay, so during the feedback, I don't care if you're, like, really rude. I actually want you guys to do that because, like, I feel like, I feel well, like. Well, you're not giving us a chance. You have to date us. You have to talk all to right, us. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, so what do you, uh, I, I don't know what to say. You I can. feel like, I feel like if I'm, like, 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 so while, like, I'm, like, watching, I feel like I'm always, like, oh, like. Like, I have so many ideas, and the moment I'm on here, I'm, like, blanking out. I, I don't know why, so. It's it just nerves. Like, you just got to face yeah. it. Face it. And, yeah. and what what are you interested in to know from one of us? Uh, how old are you guys? <laughs> Worst question. Know. Next one. That's, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> Next uh, question. I don't know. All right. Oh, uh, Alex, I think, I think you can take me off now. All right. Um, yeah, I did. I did. I did bad. I did so. I, I'm, it's I'm okay, bad. dude. It's okay. Uh, <clears throat> Every single time I watch this show, I'm like, oh, I just really want to be on here. And at the moment that I'm, I'm on here. Like, sometimes, sometimes you get what you wish for. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to skip the part where we ask the girls about the second date. Uh, I'll okay. just get right into the feedback. Uh, so first of all, I'll give you props for pushing past your comfort zone. Yeah. Uh, the reason you blank out, you're saying like, yeah, I have ideas, but then I yeah. blank out is because you go into fight or flight. So when you go into fight or flight, all the basically the blood goes to your extremities and your brain just shuts down. It's like your reptile brain kicks in and then suddenly you, you completely blank out. So you have to basically stop going into fight or flight. And that really the best way to do that, I think, is exposure therapy. So exposing yourself to things that make you more and more nervous. Now, the trick is to do it in a way that's not too extreme at once. So you don't want to go from zero to 100. So if, for example, you just can't approach a girl, you know, you might want to go up to girls and just say, hi, how's it going? Or just give them a compliment and then walk away, right? And then you slowly push your way past your comfort zone. Now, uh, you know, given this, like, obviously, this was a little bit like a huge step for you, which is fine. Yeah. You, know, you didn't do any damage. But yeah, so I think really just, and you have to be like very diligent and, and uh, consistent with it of like pushing past your comfort zone. Like I used to be really nervous around girls too, but you can stretch your comfort zone. Think of your comfort zone as a rubber band. Right now it's yeah. like really, really tight, but you can loosen it up, loosen that up, and loosen that up. <laughs> Pun intended. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would also have a few fallback topics. So I always have a fallback topic. If I, for some reason, like can't think of anything, I'll just have a few fallback topics. So what kind of guys are you girls into? Uh, oh, what's your ethnicity? What's your background? You know, yeah. what do you girls do for work? Just have like a few fallback topics and then, you know, you do that to kick out of the conversation. Last thing I will say is like pity is the death of desire. So the minute that girls start to feel bad for you, where it's like, oh, this guy's shy. I feel bad for him. That's like the minute that like the attraction is dead. Uh, no woman can be sexually attracted to a man that she pities. So right, uh, right, right. You know, I, I would never play into that. Even if you're nervous, I would yeah. just, uh, you know, push through that and then, you know, just use fallback topics. You could make like a little joke out of it in the very beginning. You could be like, oh, damn, two girls at once. Like, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. OK, let's yeah. do it. And then, But then you just push past it. You don't want to like harp on that for more than like a split second. Right. So that's my feedback. I don't know if your girls have anything to add to that. I think uh, everything you said was very spot on. And I just want to let you know, Kevin, like 
Yeah. You know, the people that are on here that are confident, it's taken them a long time to get there or they have the gift yeah. of the gab either way and it doesn't matter. Um, start off with, I think Alex, what you said is great. Start off by going from, you know, from zero to one, then one to two. And how you do that is in the elevator. Hey, how are you? Great. That's normal. Nobody's yeah. going differently. If it's a girl, even better, you know, like just practice shooting your shot in the smallest way and in increments until you can build off more because you going from, you know, not doing that to then all of a sudden expecting yourself and putting that responsibility and expectation on your back and then two girls on a screen live, like that's a lot of fucking yeah. pressure. So of course you're going to feel this way and that is yeah. normal. So the only thing, and I, you know, I see comments too, don't beat yourself up for it. We've all been yeah, in your- don't, be, don't beat yourself up. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, there's no point in doing that. That's only going to make you worse. You got to say, I did that though. Like I got in there and I faced my fears. That's huge. Most guys would not do what you're doing. Like, let's be real. Yeah. So just start off slow and build it. You, when you face fear in the eye, that's when you start to challenge yourself and therefore challenge equals change, right? If you're not, if you're going to stay the same and do the things you've been doing. You're never going to grow. If you don't feel that pressure or anxiety, it means you're not growing. You need to go through the discomfort discomfort to really you know push yourself yeah. out of what you're used to and that's going to improve your life in every way shape or form so just keep doing what you're doing and uh, i'm proud of you yeah thank you okay Gordon, do you have anything to add um no just to feed off of both of you guys um, i'm proud of you too because i was a little nervous i was like is he gonna just you know log out what's he gonna do and he stayed on and uh, i think that's something to to be proud of so yeah well, I mean, one, one thing one last thing i will add is uh uh, I did a really interesting podcast with Robert Glover, the author of No More Mr. Nice Guy. I recommend you check it out. But one of the exercises he recommends, which I firmly stand by, is when you're kind of getting in that nervous state, right, just ground yourself. Feel your feet on the floor. Just feel that sensation. Feel the air traveling into your let, – let, let's just try this right now. Let's do a little experiment. It'll take like 10 seconds. So sit upright with your with your feet on the floor and just do three breaths where you actually – I want you to feel the air – touch going into your stomach and then out of your mouth and then tell me how you feel after that so just do three deep breaths where they are going through your nose into your stomach and out of your mouth yeah i feel a lot calmer now you did it yeah oh i didn't see you do it yeah oh, so you, you feel a difference yeah so this is like an exercise you can do when you you know you're like getting nervous like you know be like you can even make a joke out of it. Be like, oh, man, two girls at once. Okay, let me do my quick breathing exercise. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm ready to go, girls. I mean, that's not like the optimal thing, but, you know, it's better than right. like shutting down. So, yeah, that's something like anyone actually can do if you're feeling nervous, just grounding yourself like that. Yeah, right. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Yeah, no problem. All right. Uh, I think next was Benjamin. What's up, buddy? Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, let's go. <laughs> um, so I, I guess I'll go with Eden. I guess you don't, you don't sound, you don't sound convinced. You're like, oh, uh, no, and Eden. I mean, God. That, uh, well, the the thing is that she's, uh, I'm in Toronto right now. I figured it'd be more fun to talk with Eden. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. I'll take me and Courtney off for uh, five minutes. Hey. <laughs> um, Hello. You're in Toronto? Yeah, I'm in Toronto. Um, are you from Toronto? No, not at all. <laughs> Where I'm not you? even from this part of the world. I'm all the way over from Europe. Where? Uh, I'm from Denmark. Oh, nice. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm on an exchange right now. Oh, yeah. wow. Good so for you. I'm doing some studies here. What are you studying? Uh, well, I'm studying... Uh, What's it called? Game development here, uh, back home multimedia design. So, sorry, my dog. <laughs> yeah. Do people here not like alcohol, or why do you say that? Because it's so hard to get your hands on alcohol here. I feel. Right. What are you underage? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like back home. I would walk out the door, walk five minutes, alcohol in my hand right there. Here, I don't know one hour in some odd direction go to lcbo whatever it's called okay i i went to walmart specifically looking for beer no beer and oh. yeah 
Yeah, Toronto, I mean, I feel like Canada in general, most of the provinces, alcohol is not like everywhere. I think it's starting to become that way, like some gas stations will even have now and whatever. Um, but yeah, Toronto's uh, an interesting place. I'm not the biggest fan of Toronto and I was born and raised here. So I feel you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's easier to get your hands on like weed and stuff than it is to actually get your hands on alcohol, which is yeah. odd. <laughs> 100%, 100%, 100%. Yeah. So what do you do? Like for a living? Yeah, for a living. Yeah. I'm a dating coach. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So what is that for girls, boys? Who, who for, are you helping? For whoever, yeah, boys and girls. Yeah, what, what's a good place to go here in Toronto? To go out? Yeah, you know, if you want to meet people. Um, It depends what you're into. If you like more of a scene, lounge, club, parties, whatever. Probably more like chill, like bar, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm more of a talker, not so much of a dancer, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, there is plenty of bars. Like I would say Queen Street, there's more bars. King Street is very, you know, live and happening. It's Saturday nights, Thursday nights, Friday nights, whatever. I would avoid that if you're not into that scene. Um, there is a few bars that I love that there's one. I don't know if I want to tell you guys because whoever's in Toronto is going to go there. But um, <laughs> I'll be there. It used to be my favorite place. I don't go there as much anymore. It's um, Insomnia. I'm sure some of you guys know it. I'm sure. I don't know if you've been, if you're new, but it's really yeah. chill. It's beautiful. It's great bar, seating, couches, like cool art, um, great cocktails. So Ooh, yeah, it's cool. more of a yeah, chill, hipster kind of vibe. Um, and you can definitely talk. Music's not loud or anything like that. Yeah, I might go by there. Mm -hmm. Good. Go check it out. Yeah. Let, them know, let them know I sent you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, Eden sent me. <laughs> No, I'm not one of her clients. I'm just here, you know, <laughs> hoping that she shows up. <laughs> Very sweet. Yeah, like, um, what else? The Yeah, I, I guess sometimes my mind also just goes blank and I don't know what to say. Does that ever happen to you or? Yeah, for sure. Um, but I think just... I don't know. Like my trick is to just say like, um, I'm hot. Like my brain is just freezing up right now. Like, I don't know, you know, but focus. I, I just like to focus on other things around me and then make conversation normally. Yeah. You know? It happens though. Like it's hard to focus on other things when, you know, there's a pretty face to look at. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> does that work on girls for you? I don't know. Does it work? <laughs> Good one. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'll try and then I'll come back. I'll write a report about it. See how many response. 98 of respondents say it works. So you're going to write me a research paper. Yeah. Why not? Sure. I am. I'm a student right now. Right. So why not? That might be the cutest thing a guy's ever done for me. <laughs> <laughs> research paper. <laughs> Sorry, my dog. All right. Uh, Eden, same question as always. If uh, if you were single, would you go on a second date with Benjamin? Um, probably not. Um, I mean, like there were bits of it where I was like, okay, yes, and then uh, and then you know, so it was kind of that back and forth. Which if it's, um, I'm not sure. It's a no, right? Um, so that's my answer on that. Yeah. Uh huh. So yeah, here's here's what I wrote down. Uh, combo lacked sexual tension and flirting of any kind. It was a very, very platonic conversation. I wouldn't ask girls for recommendation unless you have like a bigger point to it. So if you're like, hey, uh, so what, what's a cool bar? Oh, insomnia. Oh, yeah, is that where we're going to go for our big date? Like something like that's fine. But if you're just like, oh, so uh, what's a good place to go? Oh, where, where do you like, you know, it just, it just kind of comes off as like you don't have anything to say and you're scrambling. Um, I do think you got to be a little bit mindful because you have like kind of like a little bit of an awkward, nice guy smile. Like, you know how people like I have a resting bitch face sort of sometimes, but you have like the opposite of that. You have a resting, I don't know, nice guy face or something like that. <laughs> so uh, just be aware of that. Um, also, just have some fallback conversation topics instead of like saying your mind goes blank. You know, again, like that can all be like almost fixed by just having several fallback conversation topics. 
And again, like pity is the death of desire. As soon as a girl starts feeling bad for you, you're done. Um, yeah, do you girls have anything to add to that? Yeah, I definitely think just, just having some topics to just pull out of your back pocket whenever you feel a little bit lost in conversations, because to me, it felt like you were like an elevator conversation and it was just like never ending. It was just kind of awkward. Um, but that that's what I have to say. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely felt that as well. I was like, uh, in the beginning, it almost felt like the opposite because it felt like I was being interviewed. And I was like, if anything, I was expecting the opposite to happen. So I was like, how do I change the subject? And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we're blaming me now. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. There's no blaming here. Look, it's Eden, saying, it's, it, come on. Like, you, you, it, you it, was, it was God. unexpected is like, all. Just, I, I don't know. <laughs> just like, stop, Eden. Just stop, stop doing this. Like, just <laughs> try to uh, do something about yourself. Like. Don't be so scary. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, awesome. Thank you, Benjamin. Thanks, Ben. Have a good one, buddy. See you at Insomnia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, if I like, I think like you know, obviously there's some girls that are more intimidating, some girls that are less intimidating. Like, if I had to rate you, you would definitely be on like the less intimidating side. Like, I don't know, like why some guys, yeah, you, uh, why some guys uh, find you like so intimidating. Like, I think like you're not like the most like. On, on uh, whatever, on uh, intimidating a girl. I don't know why I'm starting doing with that word, but you're like closer to that end, I think, than the intimidating uh, side. Like you're pretty sweet, you're pretty feminine. So I don't know. I guess different strokes for different folks, but yeah. 100%. Like I think someone like, uh, well, like some of the other guests I've had on, like for example, Ashley, right? She can be intimidating because she like just like shit tests the fuck out of guys and she can be like really like direct and shit like that. Uh, but you don't really do that. All right, let's have Isaiah on. Isaiah said he wants to do both of you. Hey, how's it going? Isaiah, you were saying you want to do both of the girls at once. Yeah, 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 I want to do both. Well, I mean, come on, bro. You just met them. Like, no, you just yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. Well, a whole internet thing, you know, doing it online. Yeah, that'd be a little bit tricky. But, yeah, we'll uh, test out the uh, mental skills here, see uh, what we can do here. It oh, was a sex joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. You okay. got this, buddy. I'm going to take myself off. And so what wild, crazy adventures you guys been up to today? Um, I spent the day in New York City, so that was fun. Came back home, watched a new show. So that's about the craziest thing I've done today. Oh, like visiting New York City? Well, I'm actually visiting like, my cousin in New Jersey, but we went to New York City because it's just like 20 minutes away. So, uh, Did you pay like just an absolute arm and a leg for Ubers there? Because I hear it's like just shockingly expensive. No, no, no. I'm not. I didn't move here. I'm just visiting. Oh, but I'm saying Ubers. Like, oh, like traveling actually, no. I mean, my Uber from the airport to here was only like $30. And then we took a bus into the city. So it's like 450 So not bad at all. Oh, so I heard from a friend that visited that like you paid no less than like sixty dollars for even a five minute ride with things. Yeah. Well, once you get like into the city, you can pretty much walk everywhere. So that's pretty nice. You don't have to Uber, you know, twenty minutes away. Yeah. Uh, so how about yourself, Eden? How's your day been? It's been good. I went Christmas shopping with a girlfriend of mine. I got home not too long ago, walked my dog. And now I'm here. I see you uh, go out buying uh, presents for friends or buying presents for some enemies. Some enemies? Oh, yeah. Like, like you should definitely give it a try, like Christmas shopping for your enemies. It's it's really, really fun, you know, because you're, you know, thinking about, like, something that would just be an absolute horrible gift to give them. Oh, that actually kind of sounds like something I would love to do. But what would you get for your enemy? Um, I wait for my dog to take a poop and I'd send her <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't waste my money on my enemies unless you've done that. I would love to hear what your gift would be. I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm making up the whole like premise of enemies thing. I've never actually done that, but just, uh, you know, fun conversation starter there. But just, with Courtney, out of curiosity, if you had to get a gift for an enemy, what would you get? If I had to give a gift to an enemy, 
that I don't know. I, I guess it would be something like very passive aggressive, but I don't, I don't, I can't think of anything like off the top of my head. I can't think of an enemy off the top of my head right now. So that's kind of difficult, but what would, what would you give? Uh, so I heard that there's a company that like, no joke, they offer a service to where you can send a box full of elephant crap to anybody. And uh, it's all anonymous. They have no idea where it's coming from. Uh, and, you know, really, really good way to just like, you know, really rub it into that person that you hate. But, there uh, is also a company where you can like send a potato or something really random to a random person or like, you know, someone that, you know, I, I would probably do that just to be kind of funny with it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What's like the dumbest or like just worst Christmas gift you guys have ever gotten? I got a re-gifted gift from one of my like great aunts. Like it was given at a Christmas party that we had like during earlier in that week. I know she got it and then she re-gifted it back to me. And it was like a beanie, you know, it was like, it oh. was, I know you didn't get this for me, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That, that must have felt yeah. a little frustrating, huh? But so what about you eating like a, well, I forgot you said you didn't celebrate Christmas like on um one of the earlier. Yeah, but I'm trying to I'm trying to be a team player here and think of just like a, a general gift that I've received that was like the worst gift. And I think it's just. I don't know, something I don't know, like I remember I got like a little, you know, those what are those called where you just put them on the shelf? They're like a little or not. A, I forgot the English word for it, but it's like a crystal something and it was like cheap shit like it was from the dollar store or something which is fine but it made no sense it was like some weird creature and i had no idea what it meant and it like it had no purpose and no thought and i was like oh this is like what the fuck am i supposed to do this you know what i mean like so i, I guess just like a, an unthoughtful useless thing oh like, like one of those like knickknacks that are like yeah knickknacks yeah like what am i it's gonna go to the guard like i feel bad you know but what am i gonna do with this <laughs> I guess that would be the worst. I haven't really gotten anything that's terrible, I think. No. Uh, so when, when we uh, break up and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking to get like an angry ex gift, I guess I'll get you one of those knickknacks. All right. Foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I guess uh, besides. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. So, ladies, same question as always. Uh, let's go start with you, Eden. Would you, if you were single, go on a second date with Isaiah? Uh, probably not. I just didn't. I mean, yeah, like more of a friend platonic vibe I got from you. Yeah. Courtney, yeah. what about you? Yeah, I agree. Probably not. Okay. Well, here's here's my feedback. So um, I actually have pretty much the same feedback I have for you as the previous guy, honestly. Uh, it was too nice guy, platonic, lacks any kind of flirting or sexual tension. Which is why the girls think the girls, I think both girls will say he's a nice guy. Like, I don't think either one of you would ever say, Oh, he's creepy, right? You would never say he creeped me out, right? But you would just also, but like some guys just think that all you have to do is not creep the girl out. But it's like you actually need to do more than that. You actually need to establish some kind of sexual tension or some kind of attraction, right? It's not enough to just not be creepy. So it's like, yeah, you kind of have to like, you know, move the deal a little bit. Um, don't actually say this may sound like kind of like a small tip, but it can make a difference. Uh, don't actually say something as a conversation starter. Uh, pointing that out kind of loses you points. Imagine like you're working in sales and you spend five minutes bullshitting with a client and then you're like, well, I'm just building rapport now. Okay. It just kind of cheapens it a little bit. Uh, they know it's a conversation starter. You don't have to like state that. Um, like for example, when uh, Eden was like, I don't know, it's like a kind of weird creature. I'd be like, Ooh, I like weird creatures. Uh, what kind of weird creature are you into Eden? Like you can just riff off that. Uh, but yeah, I feel like you focused on the gifting like way too much. It was like a nice starter, but I wouldn't like spend the whole combo talking about, it, you know? So yeah, let me know if your girls have anything to add to that. Yeah, I think that the turning point for me was, and Eden even mentioned like, oh, that's foreshadowing. Like bringing up, potentially breaking up with someone the first time you meet them is like not, I would never recommend that. So I think, yeah. So I agree with you, Courtney. I think that um, it was an actual like I was kind of interested with the whole anti-gift thing for a quick sec, but like for a quick sec, 
Do you know what I mean? Um, I think that you, you test the waters. If people are vibing with it, great. But if they're vibing with it, end it on a good note, move on to the next thing, see if you can build something else off of it. When we drag on things like Alex said, it gets boring, it gets stale real quick, and it gets old. Um, you can always bring that up at the end of the conversation if it makes sense with something. Um, but yeah, I think it was just too long of the same conversation, fell flat. Um, and there was- What do you think I possibly should have tried to switch it to? Uh, it's, it's difficult to say, but you could have picked up on something that we said and then became more playful with it. It doesn't necessarily have to, like, I know Alex is sexual, which I, I get to a degree, but it's like playfulness. Like, you know, that energy that, you know, that's fun, which, which you had in certain moments and you were showing that and we're like, uh, and then, you know, we just kept going on about that. Um, well, just to be clear, I would never, I would never recommend going from like platonic to sexual. Yeah. It all should be very smooth and progressive. So what I believe is in like slowly testing the water. So I would never go from like, Hey, so, you know, what's the worst gift you ever had to like, do you like anal, you know, like you go very, very slow. So you maybe make a playful little joke. I don't know what I might've done is like, uh, I think just being more observant is good. So I'd be like, Oh, look at this. You guys are opposites. Uh, you're in all in black. You're all in white. We got a brunette and a blonde. It's like, you guys planned this, you know, you can just like riff off that. Like just make little observations, like observe things. Like, I don't know. Eden has a lot of plants in the background. Like, damn, what are you growing weed over there? Like you can just like riff off things. Um, yeah, you know, I don't see anything like super specific I could riff off. I don't know. She's got like a big light bulb. I'll be like, damn, Courtney, that is a big light bulb. You're like fucking Nikolai Tesla over there. So, yeah, there's just like little things you can riff off if you're just observing. And I guess like last question I had is, do you feel that with the way the conversation went, I had reached the point of no return? Or do you think that with the way I ended our last five minute interaction, had it been longer, I could have salvaged it and turned it into more of that tension i'll let the girls answer um okay so i don't think that you sabotaged anything and you couldn't have come back like i think that you you could have um however it is harder when you when you get us to the point where we're kind of bored or like the conversation's like been done and played out already it does it does take tenfold to get back to the point where we're like excited again i'm being honest with you so the answer is no it's not like you couldn't salvage what what we had at the beginning, but it will take a little bit more effort. But you can't show that you're getting frustrated, disappointed, or unencouraged or disencouraged, whatever the word is. What's the word? Why am I blanking? Discouraged. Uh, discouraged. Yeah. Discouraged. Um, English is my second language. Discouraged. So if you show that and then you kind of give up too because we're giving up, then we're going to follow suit. So I think if you just kept showing energy, energy eventually would have clicked. Yeah, just just another thing in terms of riffing off, like she just said, English is her second language. So my go to reaction would be like, oh, what's your first language? What do you speak Japanese? Like, I'm gonna make a joke out of it. She's like, no, uh, you know, for you, it's Hebrew, right? I know that because I've talked to her. I'd be like, oh, damn. Ooh, I like Hebrew. Say, say some real sexy shit to me in Hebrew, right? You might have some fun with that. If you know another language. You would be like, blah, 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 blah. Even if you don't speak any other languages, so I would just make up some words. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say something to you in my language. Uh, Ching, bottom of it all, whatever, something. I don't know. I'm not going to have a hard time doing that. But uh, the girl will be like, oh, what does that mean? You might have some fun with be like, no, I just made that up. Actually, that's pretty cool, though. And then you bring it back to something more serious. That's really cool that, uh, you know, you speak two languages. Uh, being bilingual is really cool. Are you trying to learn a third language? So you kind of alternate humor with, like, actually having, like, a, you know, a serious conversation. And that's where you really have, like, that nice mix. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I appreciate the feedback. Sure, dude. Oh, Isaiah, everyone in the chat wants to know what the link is to that company that sends elephant shit. So just make a post. Let, let, the, let, let them know. I mean, I, I can't remember the exact name, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'd be able oh, to. Oh, come on, bro. It. You're blue, blue, you're blue balling everyone. Everyone wants to get that elephant shit. I say well, I, 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 I was I heard this like I want to say at least three years ago. So we can start I, I a business. Know. You can sell my dog shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's go into business together. And Courtney, Courtney, we're going to need someone as well. We're going to market it. We're going to work together. Alex, yeah. you can just sit there and look pretty, okay? That's what I'm <laughs> best at. But yeah, since I introduced you guys, I expect 10% of, of the market for free. Of course. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to be a real stickler for that. All right, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Isaiah. Yeah, thank you. Yo, guys, we have 200 live viewers. Uh, can everyone do us a quick favor and just smash that like button? It helps in the algorithm a lot. I noticed lately uh, my uh, videos have been kind of getting like buried in the algorithm for whatever reason. I don't really think they like like dating content as much as they like some of the other stuff. So, yeah, if you guys all just hit the like button, uh, it uh, really helps. All right, let me get on 
Ari. He said he wants Yo. to do both of you. Yeah. Uh, you new ready to uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I wasn't really um, watching a lot of it, but um, the part that I did watch, um, you guys said some stuff that I really uh, disagreed with. So uh, I want I want to talk about that. You guys, ready? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. So right. So there was a part when a guy came on, and then you talked about Courtney. You said like, he. I what? From what I I thought he did really badly in the in the date okay but you said to him um that's something he should really be proud of and then that got me thinking i said why why would why would he be proud of that he just talked to a woman and he completely failed in trying to make her like he completely failed in his mission basically but you said that that's something that he should be proud of and i'm thinking that's not something he should be proud of because he's 20 something years old and he still doesn't know how to talk to women that's something he needs to fix you know so i feel like that's what sort of leading men down this path where they're told Oh yeah, it's okay to be bad at this. It's okay to be um, mediocre. It's okay to be this average guy. But the, the truth is, it's not okay because if they if they're just mediocre, they're gonna they're gonna suffer. So that's isn't what this, I'm wait, it, to. It, Eden, it, I agree with what you said though. What you said was amazing because uh, you said no. you said men need experience, and that's so important. That's so true because men these days don't realize that you need experience. You need to yes. understand what you're doing, and you need to have experience doing that same thing for a long period of time. Most guys just think you're born with it, and that's why black yeah. girls so bullshit. This is, I love this debate, but we're doing a yeah. live date. So do you want to live date us or are we going to debate? Yeah, that's part of the debate, right? That's part of the date, I feel like. we just talk, I'm just trying to get, get to know you guys and like, oh. sort of, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, do you want to talk about? We all, I think, Courtney, I don't know. Because me and you were both like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> this well, guy's like, know. okay. By I'm the way. This. No, you no, did no. this I'm wrong. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm using this live debate stuff. I thought it was more like just like a. Oh. more debate than a, than a date thing you know this is like my okay. third time He's, ever doing, doing this whole thing. you you came so, in yeah, yeah. Like really no, no, like... no, sorry i don't mean to like uh come across like mean or anything i just like want to have a discussion and so get to know what you guys think like um uh, yeah oh. yeah so what do you think about that that sort of stuff like the the because the, this is this is channel sort of about like like helping men right so what do you think about like how men should improve what do you, what do you guys think men should do uh so like Let's, I don't know, just improve and like. Well, you get the question, or you no, know, I totally, I totally get the yeah. question. Um, <laughs> if you want to know how guys can improve, I mean, it depends on your circumstance, right? Some people have it easier than others. Let's be real here, and it, yes, yeah. increments in practice, right? Yeah. That's simple. Um, there is no yeah. manual. There's no step one, two, three, four. Here you go, buy my ebook, and it'll tell you how to solve all your issues. That's not really true. If you're not going to discipline yourself and put in the work and take those risks and face your fears, you can fucking forget about it. Uh, that's mm -hmm. my opinion with that. Um, I think a yeah. lot of guys get discouraged and blame external factors like, you know, my upbringing or girls or I whatever, agree. right? Totally. Or their own you know lack of skill in that department it's a yeah. skill it takes time to build just like a habit does mm -hmm. it's the same shit so you should treat it as such um but yeah, yeah. this yeah that's, i totally oh, agree with that message really. <laughs> yeah, yeah no sorry i didn't i didn't no, mean to like come, this. Come the wrong way sorry i just like i had like a little thing that i noticed you guys talking about i just wanted to like bring it up but like where are you guys like based are you you said you're in toronto right i'm in toronto yes i don't know what about you courtney sorry yeah, so I'm from Alabama. All right, that's where I currently oh, live. Okay, cool, cool. Do you guys I'm know where I'm from? I'm in New Jersey now. Oh, cool. Do you guys know where I'm from? Could you guess, do you think, based off how I sound? How you sound? Yeah. Like, I'm not from the US. I don't know if that's obvious. The UK. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're like, you know, the, you know places quite well then. I'm not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Name five countries in Europe. In Europe. Yeah. Okay. Portugal. Okay. Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, where else? Greece. Yeah. Uh, what else? I know oh, more. Stupid. What? I'm not no. stupid. Hold on. You can get it. You can get it. Come on. I, I believe in you. Okay. I said Portugal, Italy, Courtney, Greece. Courtney, help her. Courtney, Courtney, help her. I'm not good at I'm not sure. geography. I know. It's Europe. <laughs> Black. Oh. I'm what are you good at? Courtney, what? what are you good at? Tell me about it. I'm good at tennis. That's that's the only thing tennis? I'm good at. <laughs> okay, so you're from Alabama and you're good at tennis. Can I also okay. guess some other? Can I guess some other stuff about you? 
I have more yeah. countries for you. Go on, like, without without searching it though. I know what no. you're doing. Uh, <laughs> France, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Did she already Germany? say that one? Germany? No, I said she Portugal, said Italy. Italy. Uh, okay, do you know any other languages? Any of you guys? Yes. What languages do you guys know? Courtney, do you know another language? No, I don't. Oh, no, no, no. What do you think? No, only English, right? No, maybe her background's different. I am so confused what happened here, but let's uh, <laughs> let's 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 stick with the with the protocol. So, Eden, would you go on a second date with Ari? No, I was like scared of him at the beginning. <laughs> at the beginning, uh, though, it changed. I didn't mean to like, yeah. It, no, it, but got, but then you're like, oh, you're not stupid. Like, name me five countries, and I'm like, uh, what you trying to prove that yeah. I'm stupid? No, 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 it wasn't that. I think okay. you got the wrong end of the stick. I did. Yeah, Courtney, sorry. Would you would you go on a second date with Ari? I uh, yeah, no, <laughs> it's a no for me for sure. Yeah, I'm really confused. Why did you think this was a debate? No, no, no. Well, I just thought, no, it wasn't like a debate. It's just like I wanted to like talk about these things, right? Like, I don't know. I thought that'd be like an interesting thing just to talk about on a date as well. Because that's, some, that's something I, I, I just do often where I just like talk to a girl about like what I'm thinking and then just like have a debate with her. I don't know. Because I know we'll have this different something opinions. something that you might do with a girl you've been hooking up with for a while while you're laying in yeah, bed. Yeah, and I, I, I really, of misses, yeah. And I sort of misunderstood. It's, the, it comes off way too adversarial. Yeah, like, yeah just I didn't realize like, that. It's, yeah. it's like putting the girls on blast. All right, let me tell you all the ways yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. wrong. Nah, um, you know, it also like mm. it, it, like you did a massive monologue for the first minute. Courtney didn't get a word into the conversation until like the second half of the date. She was just sitting there for like two and a half minutes, like okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah. yeah, I mean, I've seen you do a lot better. Like I know you're not like horrible yeah. at games. So I'm just kind of like confused how it went. I thought you were trolling in the beginning. I was like, no, I oh, was. Wow. It was. It was sort of like meant to be. Like I was. They were supposed to like laugh and stuff, but I think that it just like because of I don't know what. Like it just came across. I'm accent as well. It's like English. No, so. no, no, no. It's not the accent. They just, they, they, no, no. It has nothing to do with the accent. They they don't know you. They don't know yeah, that you yeah, yeah. well. Like yeah, I can I can make like uh, really creepy jokes with my girlfriend who knows me real well. But if I go up yeah. to a random girl on the street and I start making rape jokes, that's not going to go yeah. over well, right? So the girl needs to know you and know like. You know that you mean well, and that you're not, because it comes off very like that, the way to, yeah. what, what to me was adversarial. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, you know, know what it is though? You know what it is for me? It's like because I'm, I think I'm good at calibrating in person. Like I can, I can have that sort of like the way I talk is like it's rude, but I can like make up for it with the way I like I don't know move. I can't explain it, but it's something that like, I don't know. I have naturally, so I, I feel like when I'm talking to a girl in like in like live, it's different because she actually like sees what I'm sort of bringing well, like she doesn't get that energy they, but i feel like oh, on camera it's a bit weird it's like you can't really well, feel can, how i can see what you're doing i just think the issue is it started off like yeah. really adversarial it's like mm. yeah, yeah, yeah it's almost like you're going in and saying you bitch and then you have to like recover from that it's just like really hard like yeah. when it comes off adversarial yeah i didn't know? mean it that way i just like uh, yeah i just had that on my in my mind because i just saw a bit of that when i when she was saying it and i just like i, I just thought i'd bring it up but it came across so, so rude. So yeah, Courtney, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you, and Eden say it likewise. Like I didn't mean to, like you know. I, I I just love the look of confusion on Eden's face. She's like, you do realize this is a date, right? Not yeah, date. yeah, I know. She was so she was so, she was so yeah, that's, perplexed. That's what I do with dates though. I just like fuck around. So we just debate. Them. <laughs> yeah, Are you a Trump like, supporter? Just, and they just like get into it. Uh, uh, like, yeah, like, sometimes I do just jokes. If you want to, if you want to have educated debates with somebody to see if they align with your views on certain things or whatever, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. a way to do it. And that's way far into the date to, at the point where that conversation comes yeah. up. Now. If you lead with that, you are going to, even if she agrees with you, it's going to be like, okay, like, what, well, like chill. Um, yeah. So I think that that's what caught us off guard. Cause we did, it, it did come off very trolling and like, you had like a fucking notepad or like phone out and everything, which was, you know, um, I think could be funny and cute down the line, but like, yeah. man, that was overwhelming and don't yeah, test sorry. the world to you on the spot. Cause it makes you like, it yeah. looks like you're, you know, downplaying her. Yeah, and, and no, it wasn't that. Yeah. I think it's just like the context of the channel. I think if you like, you guys on like regular viewers as well. So it's like, I'm talking about shit that I think a lot of guys maybe watching would understand, but it's just like, yeah, I felt. Oh like yeah, I mean, dude, it's like everything is context dependent. The way I act yeah, on yeah, yeah. is different than the way I act on debates. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Awesome. This shit. This is all, yeah, this is all cool, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're good, bro. Appreciate Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Take care. Uh, all right, cool. Let us bring on Johnny K. He has a he said he has a little thing for Courtney since you uh him and Eden already went out on a virtual Yeah, we date. went on a date already, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're married with kids. All right, I'm gonna take me, oh me and Eden off for uh, five minutes. What the fuck is up? How's your Hi, night going? How are you? Having fun watching the stream, not gonna lie. Over here. Well, we're happy to have you here. That's awesome. We're happy to have you on playing with fire. Yeah, I'm a first timer. What can I say? I I'm know. excited. Yeah, are you having fun so far? Yeah, definitely. It was a little awkward for me at first. I'm not used to the virtual dating scene. I'm more of like a face to face person, but you have know. You that? Have you done like real speed dating? Like, no, really? I have not. No. Uh, I hardly gonna... ever do like real life dating, you know? <laughs> Your parents don't let you date? What the fuck? No, I'm just extremely picky. So it's you sound really like me. hard for me to go on dates, yeah. All right, so what do you think we should do? Should we just like find better people or should we like lower our standards? What should we do? <laughs> no, oh. definitely not. My standards will never lower. That's just not gonna ever happen. I would rather get married at 50 than lower my standards. So. Damn, you're super picky. Married at 50, that'd be fucked up. Yeah. I it's agree. not even worth it at that point. But I mean, you bring it up marriage, so that's a good thing already. Yeah. <laughs> already so, thinking about progressive. it. Progressive. No. <laughs> yeah. I, right? think, I always think way into the future. That's like my, it's like a bad thing about me, but I consider it a good thing because I, I think things out very well before I make any decisions. So. Ooh, you're a master contemplator. Love yeah, that. exactly. I like that's that term. I'm going to take that. I'm going to use that. Master Contemplator. I got that from another speed or another like dating coaches channel, not gonna lie. Really? Yeah. So I can't take credit. I'm not a copyright person. It's okay. Person. I wasn't gonna give you credit anyways. Oh I'm my goodness. Kidding. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't. No, I'm kidding. All right, so check this out. Have you ever been on a motorcycle before? On a motorcycle? Yeah. Yes, I have. Ooh, what do you think? Yes, I loved it. Yeah, no. Mm. no. Absolutely. Yeah. I wish I could get one, but I'm too scared to do that. I can't even drive my car. Uh, I mean, I can, but I wouldn't say I'm, I'm the best driver. So don't put me on a motorcycle. Oh, my goodness. You've been in car crashes. Yes, but I've never caused a car accident, but I have been in multiple. All right. I feel that. I've done something like that, too. Yeah. Never caused any. Yeah. I get, like, really random car accidents, too. It's It's whatever i don't know i have the worst the like worst luck in the world i promise you so it's really fun. i have the yeah. best luck in the world because i don't know if you can tell but i'm irish i have like freckles I, don't, I have freckles too but i'm wearing yeah. concealer so you can't see them really go a little closer i want to see if i can well the light's gonna come on though me but too i do yeah. have them okay i see you i see you freckle gang let's go yes, yes. heavily it's <laughs> heavily in my family so yeah. Are you Irish? No, I'm a mutt. I don't really know. You know, I was actually talking to my cousin about this like yesterday, but we don't, we don't really know what we are, but it's okay. Do the, what is it? The 23 and me do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's doing that. I need to, but I, need to. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I'm already at my age and I'm, I'm happy with whatever I am. So, Wait, can, can you say it online how old you are? I'm curious. I'll be 24 on Wednesday. Oh, you're an old woman. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm older than you. I'm fucking with you. But I'm like, how old are you? Um, or, I am um, 42. Okay. My mom is actually 42. Fun fact. I'm I'm completely fucking with you. I know. I know you're not as old as my mom. Yeah, you got to call me out on my shit. I'm 26, actually. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're the old one. I told you that's why you're literally a baby, actually, to me. Yeah, I did just graduate from college in April, so I do feel like a lost child just out in the world at the moment. So, wait, what's your degree in? Interdisciplinary studies with a concentration in nursing and biology. You do a lot. What are you trying to <laughs> do with that? Like that's, actually, that's everywhere. Yeah, uh, I went to nursing school and then I changed my major my last semester of college, but I don't do anything in healthcare anymore. Oh yeah, one of my good buddies is trying to go into healthcare. Yeah, he, yeah. So it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me at all. But it's okay. 
it's mainly health issues. I like found out my third year or third semester of college or of nursing school, not of college, that I have like a medical condition that doesn't have any sort of, or sort of cure. And so it was just best for me to step away from healthcare. So, really? yeah, it's okay. I'm happy now. I have a great career. I love what I do. What we're going to do, since you have that, we're going to fucking live it up. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to die. I, it's not like. Okay, okay. Easy. I didn't know how. Yeah, I know. No, I just, I, I'm out. like a, a high risk to be in a hospital, like actively caring for people. So I just decided to take a step back from that. But I had like the best job in the world. Like I literally love what I do. I love going to work every single day. So. Wait, Alex, don't come on for a second. Give me like at least <laughs> one more minute. What, what do you do for work? I'm a recruiter and I specialize in or like my department is business, but primarily like engineering and finance. So I found people their dream jobs. So you're going to be making that moolah. Damn, <laughs> that's you. I love it. It's great. How are we, gonna, how are we both going to be the breadwood? And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, it's always gonna be me. Um, but you, you make your. I don't know. Sense. I don't know. I'm I'm studying mathematics. I'm going for my PhD in mathematics. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna unfortunately have a lot of money. <laughs> okay, it's wow. fairly unfortunate. I gave you an extra forty five seconds. You actually said that right as I was about to bring myself on. <laughs> I'm uh, psyched. Looks like you called me. All right, Courtney. So same question as always. Would you, if you lived in the same city, go on a second date with Johnny? Yes. I thought it was great. You held conversation really well. So for sure. Yeah, you're pretty easy to talk to. I'm not trying to simp right now, but simp. Uh <laughs> no, I think I think you did well. Um literally the one piece of feedback I would give you, and you know this is better angle and lighting. The lighting is just hitting your face and it's only like half your like you're like this. Like, yeah, come on, you know this shit, man. You're, you're, I know, you're, right? I'm just like doing it on my couch. Like, uh, it's a little, little bit of a sloppy mistake because you know, it's like why, why, like why, you know, start behind the ball? Like, why not just like put your best foot forward? Uh, it's my damn math yeah. homework. I'm just like trying to come on, show some love. Okay. Okay. Pretty okay. ladies, like. Oh, I, I think you did well. You guys vibed well. Uh, you know, uh, but yeah, do you also have any feedback? Things. Eden, lay it on me. <laughs> or recording. Yeah, lay, lay him out, Eden. Punish yeah, him. Please. Um. Wait, wait. Also, also, I talked to Dan a little bit too. Dan's the fucking man. Okay. Let's the last time we came on. <laughs> My yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah, your brother. He's yeah. Fucking great. He loves you guys. Um, Johnny, I think you started off really, really great, really well. Um, you know. Some of the things you said were not my cup of tea, but I was watching Courtney mm -hmm. and I think that it works for her. You know, when you come in with your personality and maybe like you, you, you add some like more aggressive swear words into things that like actually made it more fun, showed your personality. The motorcycle thing was nice, do you? And then you kind of made like a nervous face. I thought that was cute. Um, kind of go off of what she was mm -hmm. going to say. Um, the only time I kind of cringed a little bit, but this is just oh, no. maybe a me thing is when. Courtney was saying, you know, like, I would rather get married, like, way later than lower my standards. And then you were like, damn, you're pretty picky, which kind of, to me, sounded like a little bit judgmental. And I think it's good mm. to celebrate somebody who has high standards and be like, damn, okay, you have high standards. Like, I'm on a date with you. Does that mean something? Like, go off of that, you know, um, instead of, like, putting her, something's going on with Courtney. Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, like her camera is reconfiguring. It's just it was okay. good. She's on my on her way over right now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. Um, so yeah, that would be like my the part where I got a little bit like, uh, and that would have made me go south. So, um, but in general, I think that you read her really well, and you got off, like you fed off of her energy and what she was giving you, and I think that that was generally good. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to redo ours, Eden. I tried to take on three girls, and that was just quite difficult. So I. Mean that Get, was insane. didn't really get to be myself. No, but I'm happy to see you. Yeah, I'm happy to see you. Going to go back to your video on YouTube, how to dirty talk soon. <laughs> <laughs> Review that every once in a while. <laughs> Doing oh, great. Oh, she left. She's serious. No, she, no, no, she didn't leave. She just had a technical issue. She'll come right back. Uh, but all right, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, no problem, Alex. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, no, never mind. I'll just like text you. Later. All right, sounds good. Have a good night, buddy. Yep. Have fun. Bye. Okay. Uh, okay. While we wait for um, for Courtney, uh, there's something very, very serious and disturbing that I need to bring up to you guys. 
I don't know how to say this, but right now we have 230 live viewers and only 80 likes. That means that means that one out of three of you guys are not are not hitting the like. Only one out of three of you guys are hitting the like button. Two out of three of you guys are just hate me so much and hate Eden so much. You literally just don't hit a button. No, but in all seriousness, if you guys can help hit the like button, it really helps. We have 220 live viewers, so that means we should have 220 likes. It doesn't cost you anything. It takes two seconds. Uh, it really helps in the algorithm. Uh, if you want to see more of this kind of content, you know, uh, it helps a lot. Um, okay, let's give uh, let's give Courtney a second while she reconfigures her computer. I was actually, I'm really curious to ask what her medical condition was. I was like spe speculating like the whole time what it could be. I know, me too. I was like, this is going to be a serious conversation. Are we all going to start crying? But I mean, like, if she brought it up, then maybe she's totally okay. It might not be that serious or uncomfortable for her to talk about, you know? So I, if I were a guy and I was on that date, I would be like, do you mind if I ask what it is? Like, you know, whatever. Um, you can just show a little bit more. I think that's another feedback I forgot to give Johnny, just to be a little bit more like, oh, is everything okay? Okay, good. Like, move on. Um, hey, Courtney, uh, I don't want to make it personal. And if you're not comfortable talking about this, just let us know. But I was just curious, uh, what is the medical condition? Yeah, it's called stress-induced vasovagal syncope, and it's followed by seizures. So oh, basically, wow. my body can't comprehend stress. And so it causes me to pass out. I go unconscious. I have a seizure. Yeah. It's is, not is, that, is that genetic, or how does it work? No, it's um, – there's – there's no answers for me. I have like one of the best cardiologists and neurologists in the South and they still are like, we don't understand because all of my tests and results or pretty much everything that's ever been ran on me has come back perfect. So it's kind of weird. Have you ever been tested for Lyme disease? Lyme disease? Yeah. Okay. You, you everything, came everything you would think of. I've, oh, I've okay. tested for yeah. Cause I got, I, I got Lyme disease when I was younger and they tested me for everything. I spent six months going to doctors until they finally did a good test because a lot of the Lyme tests, like the standard Lyme tests suck. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, cool. All right. Uh, I don't want to derail. I was just really curious. Um, okay, let's bring on, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dennis. Dennis, where's he hiding? Or did he drop off for a second? Okay, let's bring on Raul. He said he wants to uh, go. Yo. Uh, what's his name? Yo, Raul. Okay, yeah. he's not ready. Oh, wait. No, he is. Yeah. Close, close out of the, uh, I think you're watching the stream, so just close out of that. Uh, yo, you're lagging. Huh. Raul, I'm gonna, yeah. You, you, yeah. you're lagging really badly. I'm going to take you oh, off. No. Just uh, just join join on your computer. Okay. Raul, I'm muting you because the, the feedback is bad. But yeah, uh, you're, you're lagging really bad. So just, um, I think you got to close out of the porn and just try logging in on the computer. I think that'll help. Because it's lagging really, really bad right now. Uh, so I would try opening this up on the computer. I think it'll be better. I'll bring you on after this, so I'll, you're, you're not going to have to start over. All right, cool. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, wait. Let me let me sec check the chats. Who said, Alex, I can do both. Okay. Joshua. Yo, what's good, man? What up, buddy? So I uh, got to go on bo with both, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you got to skip the line. Oh man, I'm nervous, but all right, let's do it. You got this, buddy. You got the Christmas sweater. You're good to go. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, ready, you know. I'm, I'm in the Christmas spirit, so you know. Hell yeah. Okay, so what's up, guys? Uh, so what, what's your guys' uh, ethnicity? I'm gonna start with Courtney. Uh, I'm just as basic as it gets. Um, just exactly what I look like. So. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know much about my, my real dad, but uh, my mom is, you know, just Caucasian. We're pretty much all from America, as far as I know. So I think that, I think that's all I am. Not really sure. Oh, so what, what state are you from? I'm actually from Mississippi, but I live in Alabama, and yeah. So, oh, I'm, I'm in South Carolina right now. So uh, I love South Carolina. I love Charleston. Ooh, what about you, Eden? What, what's your ethnicity? I'm Israeli Russian. Ooh, shalom, shalom. Oh, wow, shalom. Mashumcha. Mashlomech, because I'm a girl. Oh, you, wow, you're good. Vesedel, maitcha. Yeah, well, as always, I know, but you know, I'm trying to, right now I'm learning Chinese. You oh, know, wow. I'm learning Chinese. So give me a break. You know, it's really hard, but 
Hebrew oh. on the list. Don't worry about it. You killed it. Yeah. So you speak Russian as well? Uh, bad words in Russian. Oh, no, I'm, I'm a good boy, so I don't really, uh, <clears throat> I don't talk about that stuff, but, um, good. <laughs> okay. So what are you, what are you guys uh, most uh, passionate about right now? What's your, what gets you waking up in the morning? Courtney. I would probably say I'm most passionate about my dog and I, I see yours, Eden. So cute. Um, I have a German Shepherd Husky and I just love her with my whole heart and I feel like I dedicate everything in my life to her. So, which is pathetic, but I love it. So. Well, you know, I recently got a Pomeranian, and um, it's a it's a lot of stress because he'd be she's be pooping everywhere, peeing everywhere. It gets me so mad, and uh, it makes me think if I ever want kids in the future. You know, it makes me consider that. What do you, you know? mean they're better than kids? Look, oh, you have well, to train your dog. You know, yeah. like go outside and you know. Wait, did you guys get like a trainer, or do you guys like train them yourselves? I train mine myself. Yeah. Uh, uh, Courtney, um, I wake up the same way, so you're not crazy. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> uh, when I see Ruby's face, I'm like, life is good, you know? And I yeah. grew up with big dogs, too, so I totally understand. But wait a minute. So so when, when your dog does something bad, what, do you, like, hit him? Do you whip him like a kid or what? What do you do? Whip him like a kid? <laughs> well, I don't know. Mine is such a puppy face. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I know you're going to do it again. I can't discipline you. She's ah, uh, you too nice. You too nice. But she's a street dog. She was a stray. You know, she already went through six months of that. Yeah. You know? Oh, really? So I feel bad. Wow, interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know what to do. I got. I don't know how to train my dog, so maybe I should get a, a trainer or something. <laughs> yeah, a trainer is a good starter. Even watch videos, like you know, especially when you start them young as a puppy, it's not hard. Like it, it takes you know time and and consistency and whatever, but. You have patience, or if you've got the time, I know it takes a lot, but you know, then you'll be good, especially when you have them as a puppy. When they're when you get them as like a, a when you adopt the dog or they're older, it's harder. You know what I mean? Because they already are stuck in their ways, so it's a little bit harder to break their bad habits. Interesting. I, I didn't think you uh, answered the question about what you're uh, most passionate about, Eden. Well, definitely my dog. <laughs> yeah. No shame in that, but I think just getting up and being able to do what I've always wanted to do and what I've worked up to doing. So like, you know, my YouTube channel and, and being a dating coach and like having, you know, that to, to do every single day. Oh, you're a dating coach? Yes, I am. Oh, man, I, I'm nervous now. I got to gotta speak a good, good game now, you know? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not getting oh, nervous. Man. You got this. Okay, so what? Uh, so, Courtney, what you do for a living? Uh, she, I know uh, Eden told me she's a dating coach, but uh, so what do you do? Yeah, I'm a recruiter, um, primarily for engineers and people in finance. So. Oh, interesting. Uh, I never heard, you know, I never heard that before. I've never seen someone say they're a recruiter, except for like the military, but you're not in the military, so. Recruiter, okay, interesting. So, you know, the new year's coming up. I'm already in the, in the Christmas spirit, but... Um, What's your what's on your to do list for the new year? Well, what, what you guys got? I definitely want to travel more. That's something that's a priority for me. Um, okay. Hopefully, go overseas. I've stayed in the U.S. I need to yeah. venture out. So that's on the that's the at the top of mind for sure. Traveling. Okay. What about you, Ian? Corny. We're twins. Um, <laughs> definitely. Well, I definitely do want to travel, and there is some opportunity for me to do that in the new year. Um, lots of changes, good ones, hopefully. And I think just focus more on, again, like my YouTube channel. And, um, I have a few places I'm going to hopefully in the States to do some podcast interviews. So that's what I'm really looking forward to in the new year is just going, you know, blazing guns into what I've been doing. Um, but this time, like more seriously, for sure. Interesting. So you're about your money and me is about traveling, exploring. I like that. You know? <laughs> You know, for me, you know, for me, no, I'm, like I told you guys, I want to learn Chinese. So that's the big, I'm, I'm still learning Chinese, but it's really hard. But I really want to get really good at it for next year. And then the next language could be Hebrew or Russian. We'll see. Why, but why, so why Chinese? I would love to know. Is there like a reason for it or you just were always interested? Well, you know, um, well, there's a lot of reasons, you know, that people say it's really impossible to learn. Um, that gets me excited. I like challenges. Uh I also like learning languages in general. It's my it's my biggest hobby. Biggest hobby is learn learn languages. 
Uh, there's a lot. There's a few Asian people that I know, uh, Chinese people. So I like to surprise them, and uh, you know, do my thing. But it's, in general, it's just because it's my biggest hobby. You know. Yeah. Do you guys, do you guys want to learn uh, another language or no? Yeah, I feel like for what I do, I really need to learn Spanish. Ooh, um, so you, you know, I speak Spanish. I could teach you that. Okay. Perfect. That. All right. So let's kick it off. Same question as always. Eden, would you and or your dog go on a second date with uh, Joshua if either of you guys was single? Uh, Joshua, I really liked you, but no, I wouldn't go on a date romantically with you. No. Okay. Courtney? I agree with Eden. It would be the same for me. Okay. Let's uh, – so, yeah, let's kick it off with some feedback, girls. So, uh, I don't know. Eden, you want to start? Yeah. Um, again, I think it's a common theme today, very platonic. You are an interesting per- – <laughs> See this personality. No this is it, right? This this funny. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Um, what I'm saying is, is, it's more platonic. There was none of that like playfulness, you know, like what Alex likes to say. True, and, and I agree. It's you know, sexualize something a little bit to a degree, modestly, and build it up. You didn't find sort of like a that juicy topic that we were both interested in that we could really go into and have a fluid conversation. Again, it was very questionnaire interview on to the next. You're, you know, you had us with the languages. We could have gone somewhere. I know that we ended it, but I think again, like try and find something that in that you can see the other person is really excited to speak on and ask questions and listen and build off of that and show excitement and inject your humor. Stop pretending like you're writing things down. <laughs> no, he actually is. I love that. I love that. He's not trolling you. I love no that. Connecting. No, and, and use use the fact that you know these languages. Like that's huge. You know, I was like, oh damn, he knows Hebrew. Like nobody really knows Hebrew. They call they call it. You speak Jewish. Like you know, like you. <laughs> so it it does make you stand out from the crowd. Utilize the shit that you know. You know, everyone's different, and come in with that. So I I did like those points for sure. Like shalom, shalom, shalom. Uh, oh, shalom. What, what do you have to add, Courtney? I agree. I think you did very well with like including both of us. Um, but it did feel like very interview style, just like she mm. said. Um, but and then just like dive deeper into different topics. Like I'm like, oh, I'm passionate about my dog. And if you like you could have asked like more questions onto that, I feel like. Okay. Yeah, there's like width and depth. So like that one guy who was talking about the uh, the gift, he went really deep, but there's no width. But I feel like you went a little bit too far in the other direction where it was there was width, but there was not enough depth. So you need like that balance of width and depth when it comes to conversations. Yeah, I didn't really know how to like make it like try to flirt or try to like, you know, sexualize it because it's two girls. So it's like, I I don't know how to do it. Yeah, Uh, but you know, it's definitely doable. Uh, You know, you can watch some like the other demonstrations on this channel, like watch uh, Marcus when he did two girls or uh, Duke did pretty well with two girls. So yeah, uh, there's definitely examples of that. Or you can, you can watch the speed date I did with two girls. This was like a few weeks ago. Uh, although I feel like my style is kind of a, <laughs> a little uh, not for everyone, let's just say. But, yeah, cool. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity, Alex. Uh, I told you you're my idol, so I'm, I'm going to keep watching your videos. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Have a good nice. night, dude. You're welcome anytime. Bye, Take Josh. care. See, I'm really easy. If I was if I was like one of the uh, whatever people on the panel, like people were trying to like, all you have to do is compliment me and tell me like my content, and I'm sold. You're, like, a, you're, you're a cheap hoe, eh? I'm, I'm like, yeah, like this is a perfect game right there. Like, <laughs> he said he likes my videos. He said he's been a subscriber for two years. Like, I, I don't I don't see That's what it. he could have done better. That's it. Uh, I'm easy. All right, let's bring on Dennis. Uh, Yo, what's up? It's my favorite YouTuber, Alex. Yeah, right. I don't fucking believe that shit when it comes out of your mouth, Dennis. All you do is nah, you, you are, though. You're like, all, all you do is fucking troll me in the chat all day. What do you mean, like? Whether you're with fucking playing devil's advocate. Uh, okay, so you ready? Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna go on both of them. Hell yeah! Uh, I'm gonna take myself off. Yo, hey, I'm Dennis. Nice to meet you guys. How are you guys doing today? Good. Nice to meet you. Um, um, it's Courtney, right? Courtney, yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, I just got here, so I, I'm not like too familiar with you guys. Um, but what area do you live in? I'm in Chicago. Yeah, I'm in Alabama. Oh, that's cool. What about you? It's erotic. I like that name, erotic. 
<laughs> that's my channel's name, but my name is Eden. Um, Eden. Yeah. I think we've talked before. I don't know if we have. I think once a while ago, but um, nice to meet you again, Eden. Um, nice you're in you're in Toronto, right? I am in Toronto. Yes. Now, um, so I'm not sure. You you guys like? Well, first of all, um, you guys like girls, or what like do both of you guys like girls, or are you guys just straight, or what's good with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm straight. Oh, right, that's cool. What about you, Eden? Yeah, um, I, I've only dated men. Uh, I'm not opposed to women, but I've never. Dated women. Damn, you guys, why are you guys so boring? Like, come on, have some fun, spice it up. Like, you said you were coming to um, the United States, Eden. Planning on coming to Chicago or where are you going um, to be? I actually don't have anybody in Chicago, but I am doing a little bit of like a little states tour next year, uh, just to those that I know in the. You can come on on my podcast. I like do um, it's about like books and magic and like illusions. <coughs> yeah. Oh my God. I literally thought you were gonna fucking yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, you know, if you wanted to come on my podcast, visit Chicago, I got you. Like I said, I'm a magician, so I can saw you in half and put you back together again. Sounds like the first 48. I don't know if you guys have watched that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to die, my friend, but. <laughs> that sounds like a third date type of thing, not the second date, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, You said you were in Alabama? Yeah, that's where I, I live. Oh, I'm um, like, damn! I can't think of the capital, but like, where? Right, or, no, no, just Alabama is enough. Um, I, we don't need to dox you, but um, <laughs> you ever been to Chicago? I have not. I've been to Illinois, and my dad's actually from Illinois, but I haven't been to Chicago. For sure. So, um, you guys don't think you don't think she looks cute, Courtney? You don't think she <laughs> looks course, like a cutie? She's so beautiful. Are you trying to set us up? <laughs> I mean, I'm going on a date with both of you, you know, like, or you, you guys can compete for me. If you guys aren't like trying to like all have fun, you guys compete for me then. <laughs> um, no, we're not going to compete. We don't need, there's no need to compete. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. We're just having fun. So, um, how old do you guys think I am? 23. Eden? I'm going to go with 26. Yeah, I'm 25. All right. Um, but, or that's what I say at the club. I'm actually 22, but, you know. I thought you were going to say I'm actually like 19. <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, I guess. <laughs> if I say 22 at the club, I usually get blown out. They're like, oh, you're too young, this and that. So I just say I'm 25 now and don't have an issue. But um, you guys like going to clubs or what do you guys do for fun? Not clubs. Yeah. Oh, damn. You guys have, like, the same black shirt and, like, the same necklaces. That's crazy. <laughs> Mine are, mine's a butterfly. What is yours, Eden? Uh, mine's um, a nameplate and then a just, like, a gold bar with an engraving. Oh, for sure. Your boyfriend got that for you or something? Uh, no, my, my mom and then this one I got for myself. Uh, it, it looks really nice on you. Thank you. And same with you, Courtney. Thank you. Um, do you mind standing up? I want to see your outfit. Um, I'm going to pass on that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's all, I, I just like fashion, you know. I, it wasn't anything, like, perverted. I, I just like fashion and seeing each outfit. Like, this is Off-White, Barjo Ablo, R.I.P. He's um, dead now, but. Are you guys familiar with Off-White and Vardrill Ablo? Of course. Yeah, but I'm just into fashion, like I said. But what are you guys into? Tell me about yourselves. Yeah. Wait, you know what? Why don't you stand up and show us your outfit? <laughs> All right. I mean, I should have worn something nicer, but, you know, a little, like, Off-White. Yeah. Like, you, like, trying to check out my pants or something? Like, come on. like. No. What? Oh, okay. We're also um, into fashion. Yeah, I'm, I'm just wearing jeans. I'm just wearing jeans. Nothing crazy. 
You got alcohol in the background? What kind of alcohol is that, Eden? Oh, um, we have gin, we have wine, we have vodka. Oh, I love wine. Red or white? Red. That's my favorite, too. When are we going to split a bottle? Um, I don't know. Sure. Invite me and Courtney over. Let's split a bottle. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start off by saying you're a pretty good magician. Can I see that trick again? <laughs> Um, um, I mean, I, I can show you another trick. I can't show you the same trick though, or like go on yes. my YouTube channel. Show, show me, show me another trick. Yeah. Um, all right. One second. I fucking, that I'm was like, scared. I don't know how the fuck he did that. Like the cars came out of nowhere. I was like, so mind fucked when I saw that. Like, where did the fuck? Uh, I wasn't from? like planning on showing anything since you said Dennis, like, you know, don't show. I that. know, I know, but this is purely for uh, so hopefully I can still get this right. I'm not like warmed up or anything, but all right. So $100 bill. Okay. You can create the illusion. Okay. And then let's see. Okay. All right. So, um, like I said, so it's all ripped up, right? Okay. Now, um, if you were like here, I would have you hold out your hand, you know, place it in your hand, but you're not here. So um, I can just go like this and just like that, the $100 bill. Is oh. right. There you are, good magician, bro. Shit, man, I love, I love magic. Dude, if you ever come, come to Miami and do a show, I will pay to go out and see you. That was I might be there in April, so you better not be capping, Alex. Yeah, if you do a legit magic show, I'll come. Uh, oh, like, yeah, uh, but I like magic. Yeah, anyway. thank you. I, I appreciate I appreciate um the feedback. It's something uh, I'm I'm working on, I, and I want to start like dropping content, YouTube stuff, like a video a week of street magic. You should watch my nightclub magic video I just posted, Alex. I think you would like it. It's me at the nightclub doing magic for bitches. It, it's really good. All right, I'll, I'll I'll check it out. All right, so let's uh let's get back on track. So uh feedback. So. No, wait, let's start with Eden. Would you go on a second date with uh, Dennis? No, I didn't have a connection with you. I felt like the vibe was uncomfortable and awkward at times. And um, I think you tried to be like sexual and just wasn't hitting. So it made me feel like awkward and there was nothing there for me. But you, he might make your panties disappear. <laughs> no, okay, Courtney. Yeah, same for me. It would be a no. Okay. You think that was just trying to like manage both of them, and that what that's what like made it awkward, or it felt like the sexualization was kind of forced. That's that's like it also felt like it was a little bit uncalibrated. So when you said like uh, you know you're asking them do you like girls, like you got to soften it a little bit because the conversation was very like platonic, and that's like so are you a lesbian? It's like the way I would do it if I was gonna do that, I'd be like. Uh, Let's start off with the really big questions. This is very important, ladies. Okay, this is something that we need to gather away before we get started. Are you into girls at all? Like, you got to soften it somehow. Because uh, if it's just like, do you like girls? It's just like, like you saw they were kind of like. Yeah, you know, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of anything on the spot. So I wanted to like get it in that mood. So, you yeah. know, like just yeah. do it and then like try to calibrate after the fact. But yeah. you're right. I could have um had more finesse about it. Yeah, you just gotta like soften it so it doesn't. So, so say it again. How did you say it? You're like, oh, I have a big question for you guys. I mean, that's just an example. You know, it's not like it doesn't have to be done that way. I'm just saying, if I was in your shoes and I need to say that or I want to say that, I would soften it. So, I would soften it. Typically, the way I soften things is with humor. So, I'd be like, all right, listen, before we get this party started, there's a very important, serious question I need to ask you girls. Uh, let's just get out of this way. Let's just get this out of the way before, you know, we really jump into the deep topics. Take hold the tension, be like, are you into girls at all? Are you guys, do you guys, do you guys like girls? And then, you know, just like kind of soften a little bit and then you can kick off the discussion. So Eden was like, I believe she said, uh, no, I've always historically dated uh, men, but I'm not opposed to that. I'd be like, okay, okay, there's hope. You know, like you can kind of like play on that. Uh, but yeah, it just got like sexualization has to be like very gradual. It can't be like, like that, you know? Yeah, it's hard to do like over internet too because you know in real life you have Kino and touching them and it, it's a little like easier. And like since it was two girls, like uh, you know, I don't usually try two, to like do yeah, that. So two girls is definitely a lot harder for sure. You think I'm getting better though, Alex? 
Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to bullshit you. I don't know. I, I, no, I appreciate seen, that. Like, I haven't seen like like noticeable progress. Uh, yeah, I, but I'll, I'll, I, to be honest, like there's so many people, I'll pay more attention to you. Like next time you come on, I'll tell you. Do they have any advice for me or feedback? Uh, you guys are both muted. Okay, I'm here. Um, I would say kind of watch your body language because it was very like, and I know you're on camera, but you were just moving a lot. It was a little uncomfortable. Was it like too aggressive or what would you say? It wasn't aggressive. It was just like. I think I was just going back and forth. And like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, in real life, you know, you lean in sometimes, you pull out. So I'm kind of used to, like, going to bars and stuff and, like, doing it that way. It, it doesn't come off the same as with camera. I think um, with the with the body language, I agree that you should be more animated, right? However, um, the leaning is a very, like, nervous tick and a discomfort like it's just uncomfortable and like we feel it too um and we're kind of trying to follow you and we're like what's going on i think you can use your hands i use my hands a lot some people love it some people hate it whatever say what you want it does instill some sort of confidence as well especially when your posture is good and you use hand gestures you get your point across in a nice clean crisp way that's still you know interesting to a degree <laughs> it's very distracting um you know and i i just think the conversation was a little jumpy for me and then you kept going back to if like we're into girls and i was just like this is just like it sounds almost childish do you know what i mean like the obsession of like girls like fucking other girls we get the <laughs> lesbian porn and that's fine but like you know we don't need to know that off the bat um, yeah it kind of feels like american pie a little bit you know like i mean I, I was going on a, a double date with them you fair, know so. fair and you brought that up only at the end you're like i'm only asking because we've got two girls you know things like that so you could have like made it like alex was saying a little bit softer and just been like listen you know i've never gone on a date with two girls this is new for me i just want to make sure that we're all on the same page here like you know have you been on a date with other girls before like that's softer than being like are you into girls or like you know like that's whoa um, and might be a little like overstepping. Like, I don't know you like that. Do I really need to tell you if I'm into, you know, girls? Like maybe it's something I don't want to tell you right away. So just ease into it. Um, that would be my advice. Uh -huh. Cool. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Yo, Alex, I have some good news. Last week I got my first um, same night poll from the bar. Nice. Congrats, dude. Plus one do the lay count. Plus one do the lay count. But um, thanks for having me on. Appreciate all the help, the stuff you do, Alex. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. All right, for sure, dude. Have a good night. Bye. Um. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Uh, I like his magic. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. So, uh, ooh, we got two hundred and sixty live viewers. I love it. Uh, yeah. So when you guys hit the like button, it really helps in the algorithm. So if the, all the people who just joined, just please hit the like button. It really helps. Um. Okay, let's bring on. I think he said he wants to go with Courtney. Uh, wait, did he? No, never mind. I'm confusing. Cortez, I think, right? Yo, what's up? What's up, dude? What are you thinking? Who do you want to go on date with? Or you want to do both? Or what are you thinking? Uh, I'll do both. Fuck it. I want to go on a date with Eden's dog. Yeah, he is pretty cute. Hey, hey, trouble. Uh, do you come here often, or <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna take myself off? Are you barking off? <laughs> hey yo, hey yo. Uh, I just gotta mention. Every time I come on speed day, I never get to go with you. Because I'm always doing something. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the vibe you got. You got this like James Bond villain vibe going with the weed in the background, pinning your dog. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty cute, honestly. Thank you. And Courtney, you got like you just came back from Sunday service. Like like you just came back from church. <laughs> really cute. I've never heard that one before. But yeah, because yeah, you got all the white you. on. Like the dichotomy is like it's like uh like, you just like the devil on my shoulder, and you're like the angel on my shoulder, telling me to do right. You know what I mean? Because it's like both things kind of juggle. But, but, but honestly, so, so tell me, what's your uh, favorite amusement park ride? A music park? Yeah, music park. I guess the closest one to me is like Six Flags in Georgia. I'm in Georgia. Oh, you're my neighbor in Alabama. Oh, Alabama? You yeah. went from Alabama. Everyone I know from Alabama got an accent. Do I have an accent? No, you don't. 
Not at all. You're like the first person to ever tell me that. Everyone is like, you are definitely from the South. Yeah, because everyone like that I know from Alabama, because like I have a girl who's a friend on base. She has like a thick Alabama accent. Like, it's oh crazy. yeah, not me. Okay, okay. So, Edith, tell me, what's it like in the six? Oh God, um, it, it's really not what everyone makes it out to be. Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> oh, so you never run into the six with your wolves? <laughs> I live in the six, and we are <laughs> all in the six. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. It's um, if you've never been here, it's gonna be exciting and everything that everyone says it is. But I mean, you're good for a weekend, then it's over. <laughs> it's done. Yeah, but I probably never go to Toronto to be honest, because I hate the cold. Okay, me too. Fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. It's the worst. So where are both y'all from originally? I'm from Mississippi. Mississippi? Mississippi, yeah. Huh? Oh, Hell cool. State. No, that's cool. You from the you from the bayou? No. <laughs> I'm from central Mississippi. <laughs> Central Mississippi, okay. Country, not not the back. Yeah, Absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. I had one of my boys just got just got out. He went back to Mississippi just now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you eat it. Um, I am from Toronto, born and raised actually, but first generation born here. Um, and my background is really Russian. It's really Russian. Speak Russian. Just the bad words and. Basics, nothing crazy. Mm, nice. Yeah. So what words do you know? Sorry? So what words do you know? They're they're bad words. I, I don't think I should be say, saying online. I'm a bad man. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I know. I don't worry. It, it, hey, Courtney, cover up your ears. You don't need to hear the bad words. <laughs> I'll just go back to church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Courtney's low key. I'm way opposite than that, and you've got us twisted. Like, oh, can you okay. imagine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, so so now I think it's my turn. Yeah, y'all never guess where I'm from. I'm from the Bahamas, but I'm from Florida. I'm right here. Okay. Hold on. You're from the Bahamas and you're from Florida? Which one? Like, okay. I was born in Florida, but okay, I was from the Bahamas. And then I came over here like when I was 14. Okay. And then after I went all the way up to Georgia. I'm living in Georgia now. Nice. So where do you prefer living the most between the three? Okay. For living, I like Florida. For food, the Bahamas for sure. The food is like bomb. But over here, it's kind of fucking shitty because I work here. That's why. Well, you got to work, my friend. Yeah, I got to make money somehow. Right? Yeah. We all do. You know it's hard out here for a pimp? What? I say it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> I thought I heard that. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can reconfirm. <laughs> so what kind of dog is that? My dog? Um, your dog. Yes, your dog. She's a Maltese Pomeranian. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I was just asking because I was curious. You don't know dog breeds, but you asked. <laughs> I can't act out of curiosity? You can. At least show more interest, you know? Oh, Aww, she's cute, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, stay away from the dog. The dog is mine, okay? Don't try to steal my dog. Uh, me and the dog have a thing going. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's kick it off. So, Eden, would you go on a second date with Cortez? Um, no. <laughs> okay. What What about you, Courtney? Yeah, no. Okay. Um, I actually thought this was one of your better speed date performances. Uh, uh, I think you started off pretty strong. You made Eden laugh. Uh, you made them both laugh a few times, which is good. You're becoming less serious. You're becoming more flirty, which I'm proud of you for. Uh, one big piece of feedback they keep giving you, which I feel like you're, you're never taking, is I always say stop moving around and just, like, put your phone down. Like, I feel like that you'd be so much better off if you do that. Uh, so, yeah, like, for next stop, I really think that you should do that. Just, like, have your phone down so you're kind of sitting, relaxing, instead of, like, walking around. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wrote down. I'll let the girls give like more feedback. Yeah, I agree with that because it kind of comes off as like nervous, um, like as you being nervous. Um, but on the, like a positive note, I think you did really well with like keeping conversation. I think, and I've said this multiple times tonight, like multiple people, but just like 
dive deeper into the conversations like she mentioned with her dog um and she did great with like saying like oh it's so cute like i would definitely take just dive a little bit deeper into that and show um, that you're interested okay do you have anything to add eden um i don't know what the right term would be but there were moments where it felt almost like borderline aggressive about certain things. Like, yeah, your dog or like those like little snarky. And I know you're trying to be playful, but like you could have been like, of course, like what other dog? We're talking about me. Like, you know, like something funny, like, you know. Um, and then like the, the pimp comment, I was like a little bit like wasn't sure if to go into that and ask what you do for a living or like stay clear. Like things things made me feel like uncertain, even if they were jokes because of the way you said them. When you deliver something that's playful, you have to think about tone and demeanor, right? Because when you're saying it, but then you're giving me a serious face, I'm like the fuck, you know what I mean? My brain is like, I cannot compute. I don't understand if this is serious or it's a joke. And because we don't know each other, I don't understand your humor. So being a little bit more clear and leaving less for me to make assumptions and make shit up in my head um, is better, right? And playing into that. If you see that I'm confused, be like, oh, no, 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 I meant it like this. Like, you know, play it off. Um, those are like the little things that I noticed that made me like a little bit confused and uncomfortable. But I think you, you're, you've got like you've got that personality coming and shining through, and you are funny. I was laughing, and I, and I do think that if you played in on that and kept it lighter rather than like gotten like serious in random moments when we were laughing, then it would have been better. Mm, yeah, I do think like uh, how you deliver things matter. Like it's hard out here for a pimp. Like you got to kind of play into the song. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, if she doesn't recognize me, like, come on, you never watched uh, what's the what's the movie? It's like Hustle and Flow, I think that's the name of the movie. Yeah, I think it's Hustle and Flow. Yeah, but come on, Eden, you ever watch Hustle and Flow? Uh, you know, you can like make a playful joke out of it. The fact that she didn't like get the first time. Uh, but yeah, cool, awesome. Thank you for coming on, Cortez. I do I do see some improvements, so keep at it. Hey, I'm keep trying. Take care. All the sure, yes next time. Take care. Uh, okay, let's bring on Mr. Robot. Hey guys, what's up? How, How are you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. You How ready? you doing? Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. You said you're down to do both girls? Yeah, I am. You're going to do both I'm girls. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's take the, the joke wasn't funny the first time. I'm just going to keep saying it until I get yeah, No, don't worry. I, I'm going to take myself. Yeah. Hey, girls, what, how we doing? You know, how's, how's hey. today? You know, you know destroying any reserves, you know, conquering any new lands. It e is like she has, though. What? I said, how are you guys doing today? Are you destroying any new losers or are you conquering any new lands? Is what I asked. Oh, <laughs> a bit of both. I guess. A bit of both. A little legit. <laughs> how so? Tell me. Um, did you not watch the live? Yeah, uh, I didn't see any new territory. Do you have new territory? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Well, well currently, actually, well, when I just hopped in and I saw you in the stream, give this like a little bit of like a mystic. Like vibe, which is like a little bit interesting, and I and I kind of, I kind of think it's like a little bit nice. Do you watch House of Dragon? No, I don't. But I don't know. You just like, uh, like Renera. I don't know. Do, do, do you watch it too, Eden? No. Sorry, I thought you were talking to me originally. Um, oh yeah. Do you do no, watch it? No, I don't. I don't. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Kurt, Kurt, you know, gives me gives me that little little bit of mystic. I'm wondering, it's not a lot of mystery this way. No mystery. <laughs> Am I a mystery? I guess so. Yeah, I can be a mystery. Oh, legit. Legit. So there's, there's a lot of, you know, heating bodies. No? No? Okay. Yeah, I like to uh, keep people guessing. <laughs> okay, keep on those on toes. All right, man. All right. So you, you said you were a recruiter. Funny enough, I'm looking for a job. You got one for me? Yeah. What do you, what do you want a job in? Okay, I'm going to say the cringe version. You know, I'm trying to take a place in your heart. But that's the cringe version. The next job is... The next job, but I like for I'm, I'm an engineer, you know, I do my thing, you know. But so, have you ever like had a crush on a candidate though, ever? No, I typically, it, Never. I'm good at staying very professional. professional. Super professional. Keep yeah. Thank nice. you. All right, nice. Well, Eden, guess what? Come back to Toronto in two weeks. We're gonna meet. We're gonna hang out. You're wait. You're coming back. Are you originally from? Yeah, technically, yeah. No way. No, I mean, not super really. I just, I've been in Toronto for like five years, you know, went to the States, did some stuff, blah, 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 come back, you know? You know, we should definitely hang out. You know, what was the, do you know what? Funny enough, I don't actually know like a very, very, very nice spot, but I know I like to get your recommendations. 
You said it's Somia before. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've never been to Somia ever in Toronto, which is interesting. I I have actually never. Uh, you know, I, I am actually around the nightlife a little bit. But yeah, you know, you told me. The, like where I recommend you go? No, no, I. I'm not going to go on a date alone. You know, where we will go. You know, <laughs> the dog has chaperone. The dog has chaperone. Where we will go. Where, where we'll go. Where we'll go in it. Okay, what's your typical like first date though? Like, I'm curious. Um, for me, ideal? I think keeping it simple. Like, I think a coffee date, I don't like any of the frills. I'm not eating in front of a fucking man at the beginning. I don't want it to be serious. I don't want to be stuck somewhere for too long. And I well, what, why, kind why, of just, why would you eat? What's wrong? You scared of the curly fries right now? I'm a messy mm -hmm. eater, first of all. Hey, that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, both of us, you know, that don't like me, you know. Now, actually, now I actually feel less secure. Oh, it's not just that. It's just, I think it's a little bit too intimate for somebody that I'm not familiar with. Like, I think we got to break the ice before we go on like a, you know, dinner date. I, you know, I don't think anyone needs, owes each other that in that moment. And keeping things casual eliminates the stress and anxiety of a first serious intimate dinner date where you're like right in front of each other, you know, coffee date, walk, talk, do something else that's quick and easy and simple. I think it's so much better because you can just feel it out. Um, yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. A little I, bit, though, a little bit. Also, I heard you're Israeli Russian, and in my opinion, that was like the most powerful people on the planet. Do you agree? <laughs> after, after, I don't know, just the most powerful people on the planet. And hence, this is my, this is my proposal. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say yes. I'm just <laughs> going to say that you, that you don't want to fuck with an Israeli. <laughs> the most dangerous people on the planet. And you know what? That might actually be very good for me for a wife. Like, if I'm I'm looking for a wife, I like my wife to be, you know, that true. Because, you know, I come from, like, a very humble background. I'm a humble man, you know. But if I have a wife that you can't fuck with, bro, like, that's it. We're ruining the world. What, what are you talking about, you know? So, Edie, you know what? I'm going to get my ring now. Where's my ring? <laughs> this, is, this is my proposal. Like, you know what? I'll, I'll hold it off till we come to Toronto, right? I'll hold it off. What, did you need backup or something? You want someone that you... <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, there's got to be a cameraman usually. You know how all these proposals work. There's always like some cameraman. There's always that person with the full touch line that's like, yeah, please say yes. And then there's all the things. But you know, I think I think we know we're just gonna keep our own thing like you know simple. We'll go to Islam and do it. Oh, come on, I don't even go to where I was trying to head to. Alex, you right. can finish. I'll take myself off for a minute. All right, all right, man. all right. So okay, so okay now Alex. I was actually curious. I was I was seeing the erotic thing. And I'm curious, were you like one of the script writers for Fifty Shades? No. Me? Yeah. I, I probably would have written it better than that. <laughs> ah, ah, huh. Would you, I would have added a little like bad Russian words there, you know, to add it to make it a little mysterious. You, never know. you, you never, never know. know. You never know. You never know. You oh, never know. Okay. When my, when my book drops, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> oh, for, oh, yeah. How to, I think the other guy was like, how to talk during like a pro. Oh, you watched that video? Okay, I haven't yet, but uh -oh. I think I think this is the thing, right? For for like female DJ coaches, I think it's a genuine question for real. It's like when 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 a, when a guy you know ends up like you know CJC fuck out of you, which is probably very difficult because you're like reading his game as it works. But when a guy ends up CJC fuck of you, do you like rate? Do you like unconsciously rate him, or do you like consciously rate him? You're like, yeah, he's doing all those things, right? Doesn't all right. You know that? Um. Okay, so let's kick it off. So, Eden, same question as always. Would you go on a second date with Mr. Robot? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a very hard time understanding. Like, I, I kept leaning in. I don't know if it's a speaker or what it is. Maybe you talk too fast. But um, in general, no. I think we were getting somewhere towards the end, but no. Courtney? Yeah, no for me either. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, so it's a combination. Like you have a you have an accent, but also you mumble a lot. To be fair, you do mumble a lot, Mr. Robot. I think you got to focus on speaking more clearly and succinctly, especially since you don't have an accent. Like quite often, you don't really pronounce your words clearly. You kind of like oh, talk really fast, and then you like kind of turn around. You also like look around a lot, right? So the words are just like flying in this direction or that direction. So I think you really need to like you, like really just very consciously focus on just slowing down your speech delivering things very succinctly right that people can understand very clearly right almost like go too far to the other extreme where you speak like really slow and then you'll kind of like me in the middle 
Um, I wouldn't start off by saying you guys destroying losers. Uh, when you rag on other guys too much, it can come off bad. Uh, like that you're like insecure or something like that. So I'd be careful with that. Uh, you went on a lot of monologues and did like 80% of the talking. Uh, you would ask the question then not let like sometimes the girls finish, which can annoy a lot of girls. So you just got to be careful for that. You got to let the girls finish. That can be a pet peeve for a lot of people. I know when people do that to me, I find it annoying. Uh, you also jumped around topics really randomly. You were kind of like all over the place. You had like a fun, lighthearted energy, which was good. But I do think you need to be more succinct and you got to get better at keeping eye contact. You were like looking all over the place. So yeah, like you don't have to like deadpan stare into their eyes but like you know generally speaking you want to keep eye contact so that's the feedback i have um do you girls have anything to add to that yeah i think one thing is just to try to avoid rambling too just kind of going off on like a tangent and getting more to the point eden you're muted yeah um, I think everything that Alex and Courtney said was like pretty spot on everything that I was thinking exactly. Um, I think like you do have this lighthearted energy that's really intriguing about you. Um, and I just really wish that you would have like, I think maybe out of nerves, maybe, maybe not. Um, but it was like the mumbling and the moving around that like took away from like you, you know? And I think that people underestimate the power of just like standing still and like, speaking your sentences and even slowing it down you talking slow does not mean that you are less confident if anything it shows that you are confident and you are okay with pauses um which is powerful too to get your point across or when you ask a question so i just think like pace and things like that um and again sticking to one topic and following it through and then building sort of other ways to connect and to zoom in on things would have been great but yeah i think you're like you're a cute cool guy like you know, I just think work on those slowing down really simple things that could really change your game. Yeah, for sure, dude. All right, bro. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate you. For sure. All right, take care. Bye. Oh, wait. Sorry. Exactly. We're recording. All right, let's do like one or two more and then we'll uh, wrap up. Uh, we got high school kid. High school. Oh. Hey there. What's up, dude? What's up? You ready? I am. Who are, you, who are you gonna go with? You're gonna do both girls. Let's go with Miss Erotic. Miss Erotic, okay. I'm gonna take are you me, sure? I'm kidding. <laughs> me, and, me and Courtney off for a few minutes. Hello, Miss Erotic. Okay, first off, what's going on? Oh, nothing much. I just got done working, decided yeah. I'd hop on the channel and ask you what you did for work and about those plants back there and your duh. What? What's going on with you? Your glasses and your mustache. What is that? You're already making fun of my looks and we just met each other? I mean, why are Fuck. you going to hide your face? Is there is there something I should be worried about? What you see is what you get, babe. I don't I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, I do I do know one thing though. Uh Ani Ohev Otach. <laughs> yeah. You, Good. You love already and you haven't even really spoken to me yeah That's I'm, a, I'm a nice guy oh yeah what am i deceiving you a little bit with yeah this you, can you this yeah sexiness. This yeah totally yeah we'll go okay. with that yeah totally yeah okay well you never answered though what's what's going on with you not much um <laughs> i'm just I can't get over that. Come on, that, don't, but... don't, don't hey, think about this, okay? okay? The, we're I'm thinking not. about this is conversation between two human beings, all right? Let let yeah. let's be normal, okay? I'm being I'm being I'm being normal. <laughs> um, I I'm good. How about you? What's going on with you? I'm good. Well, let let's let's talk about your plant. Are you vegan? Why? Because I have a plant. Lo a lot of plants. That's the key I'm, word here. That's one plant. That's just. That's a giant okay. fucking plant. It's a giant fucking plant. I know. It's so, a money tree. A money, so money does grow on that tree. Uh, I mean, I've been waiting for it to, to grow on the tree. So we'll see. Oh, wi wishful <laughs> thinking. I, I like your optimism. I like that about you. Thank you. So, so you're Thank vegan then? I'm vegetarian. <laughs> Isn't that like the same thing? No, a uh, vegan is like no animal byproduct. Um, I will, I don't eat eggs, fish, or meat, but I do eat cheese. 
or no, I do eat eggs. Sorry. Um, I do eat eggs, just no, I mean, and cheese, but vegans don't eat eggs and cheese and animal byproducts like honey and all that stuff. So it's a little bit extreme for me. I've tried that, but not for me. Not your cup of tea. No. Mm. I was going to say, yeah, vegan, vegan's not something that I'm into. I personally like meat a lot. I mean, teach their own. I'm not, I don't judge. Like I've been vegetarian for over 10 years and I don't really like I've had guys. You're not one of those girls. That's like, if you're, if you're out with oh a my guy God, no, like, he's asking you and you're like, Oh, yeah. so you, you eat animal. All products. those yeah, vegetarians and vegans are like, they have leather bags or shoes and they're out here talking. <laughs> shit. Like, you can't talk shit. If you have that, like the walking hypocrites. Yeah. I'm not out here trying to save the planet. I just, it's just a dietary preference and i've that's all i'm not like severe with it um mm. but i haven't touched fish or meat in 10 plus years so how did you stumble upon vegetarian what made I, you jump the threshold nothing crazy like i watched a documentary obviously when i was younger and that messed with my head and i in general never really enjoyed meat or fish to be honest it wasn't really mm. served a lot in the household like it wasn't anything that we you know so it was really easy for me um mm. and i just decided not to and i've felt great ever since really interesting and i know you're a dating coach correct yeah so i mean you said from your childhood that's kind of what made you just like inadvertently become vegetarian so was there something in your childhood that sort of sparked what was the moment that you knew that you what? wanted to dating be coach? doing that yeah um i don't think when i was younger i, I, I was like oh i want to be a dating coach you know when i was like 10 years old um I studied journalism and I think growing up, I was always like pretty decent on camera. And, you know, I, I was always that go-to advice giver in the group. Even my mom would come to me and I grew For up- For man advice? Well, I grew up in a household where, you know, the main household relationship wasn't really the healthiest and I never really wanted that for me. And so I was always on this like self exploration journey of making sure that I wasn't mm. going to fall into that. And, you know, um, and it's never what I wanted. And so I just found a deep passion for that. And so I went to Ryerson, which is a school here in Toronto, and I got my bachelor of journalism and which kind of helped in a way broadcasting and being on camera and editing. And so it just made sense. Yeah. And so you just kind of got that positive reinforcement throughout your life and that kind of just put you in the I mean, position it, you're in. It, it wasn't really positive. Like not everybody was really into what I was doing, going online and talking about dating and sex and things like that. And it's a little bit taboo in today's age. I mean, it's it's more accepted now, I think, more widely. Well, accepted. of course, but, but there's still that, that connotation on it from the course. older generations, yeah. especially coming from a Jewish household. You know, that's not exactly in line with what most Jewish people would end up doing, per se. My mom's like pretty modern and cool. We were not like religious or anything like that. She, me and her talk about sex, me and talk about, like we're like best friends. So I'm really lucky I have that with my mom. And so she's always been my number one supporter and uh, always supported me when what I was doing, even though she's like, I prefer if you didn't swear, I prefer if you didn't talk about anal online, but you know, it is yeah. what it is. So. Well, yeah. it sounds like you have a good relationship with your mom, but wh wh where's your dad in this picture? Me and my dad are not super close. Right. Um, he's still in the picture, but yeah, we're just, we never really had. Um, Eden, we have so much in common. My mom also tells me she prefers that I don't talk about Eno online. Yeah. You know, it's weird when they say that. Like, well, my mom is dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Courtney had to mute herself. <laughs> no, right, I'm, so I'm just fucking with you. I had to drop that bomb to like dissipate the. You don't right. joke about that. Oh my God. Eden. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell your mom, high school kid. All right, Eden, Sorry, would you mom. go? Oh, no, dude, you can't take it off before. I was going to, I want her to, her to answer the question. You know why he did that? I'll tell oh, you why. Because all the guys out here, like, it's all about looks, all about looks. Um, and well, you're lucky I, I didn't, you're lucky I didn't I, go the other way. I, I was going to, like, do I some. I wish you would have kept that shit on. I know, that's what I was saying. I was I going to, it just kind of, it was like fell off. It, oh, it would have been 10 more seconds. Because I, I would say, you are on a fine line, but yes, I would go on a date. 
with you. Now all the black pillars are going to say it's just because. Well, because you guys you took off the glasses. No, yeah, fuck, I just off. shot myself in the foot in yeah, that experiment. Did. God damn. Well, let, let, let's definitely try that again. Can we let, definitely next time you come on, please do that with a, I will. Different, with a different girl? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Cool. Yeah, Eden, I'm supposed uh, I'm supposed to shout out Dan for that one. He was gonna he was gonna get mad at me if I. Who? If I what's didn't your name? Me. Your actual name? Jackson. We're best we, friends. We've spoken before. No, we haven't. No. No, okay. I, I I always comment on his Instagram post, but I've never I've never talked to you before. So. Oh, wow, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> You're actually like legitimately friends with her brother. Yeah. Oh, that's a small world. We became best friends through this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, wow. I'm. I'm actually gonna. My brother's I'm, like I'm, dominating. <laughs> I'm flying out to see him. We're gonna. Oh. We're gonna get together in Toronto and stuff. Seems like it's getting serious. Yeah, I'll oh. bring. I'll bring the get up with me, Eden. We can. We can try again. Um, but, but 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 you didn't. You didn't give like feedback in the theoretical. Uh, oh. Hugh, that's my alter ego. That was Hugh. This is me. Okay, wait. Alex, do you want to run this or is he running this? Uh, yeah, what no, do you mean? I'm just following his. I'm following you're, you're his. Being, no, no. Let's. Uh, oh, sorry, I was just kind of lost in train of thought. But yeah, go ahead, Eden. Kick off your feedback. Um, I think you did really good. The whole mask thing was obviously distracting, but I get, I get the experiment that you were trying to do, and I appreciate you doing that. But right. um, yeah, I think you were. You had amazing conversation. You showed a lot of interest in me, and I was talking so much that I. There it is. I told you. I should have kept it on. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, let, let them say what they want. They don't want to like it. It's fine. Um, you know, obviously, I would like to know your looks and that would help with a decision because sexual attraction and physical attraction is super important. And that's all involved in the decision, of course. Yet your personality and the way you guided the conversation was super organic and made me feel comfortable. And you allowed me to talk, even though I knew I was talking your ear off. You you encouraged that. And I was like, okay, so he actually wants to get to know me. And that like turns a girl on when a guy's like this listening and then asking questions because he's actually listening. And you're like, oh wow, he's not just asking another question about a different topic. And that means he's not fucking listening and I can tell right away. Mm. So I think he did a really great job with engaging and, and you know picking up things that I was mentioning and then tying it back, you know, like, okay, the Jewish thing, it's getting old guys, like whatever, get over it brought it up and you're like well like your Jewish mom talking about you know like I think that that's mm. I think that was great so get it Eden is Jewish they eat like matzo ball soup like get over it they but. eat Porsche too she's also Russian yeah, so her true. babushka but makes Porsche, Porsche on the weekends she doesn't speak any Russian she just knows the bad words what are these bad words Eden that you've uh, that you've been referencing I blit suka you actually say it, you actually say it fairly correctly like you don't say it like with a with a massive uh accent. like cocktail like you know alex um, cocktail means how's it going i know but i'm saying oh. i don't say it with that accent i say cocktail oh. yeah, alex yeah. should i should i use the same attire or should i like put on and put on a mask next time no not as the not mask would be like that. edgy because no, they really you can't say attire. let's keep doing that Okay. Oh, All right. I'll wear like a little monocle too. I'll see you in Toronto soon, buddy. Co Courtney, though, what? what... What's up? What's yeah, up? sorry. I was just enjoying y'all's conversation. Um, but no, I think one like good thing is anything, anytime you can get like a girl talking about their family on the first date, I think that's a good sign because I get so bored with like, what's your favorite color? You know, tell like the dog is a good thing to bring up because that's something I'm passionate about. But like, I love whenever I can talk about my family because obviously like I love my family and I love talking about them too. So you did a really good job with that and just like keeping the conversation going and seeing like how her relationship is with her family, because that is something that's important to be. It's important to some people too. Right. Can I add something to that really quickly? Mm. Um, I, I, I do agree with that yet be careful because when you asked about my dad, I was like, like you could tell I didn't bring up my dad for a reason. So don't bring it up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's why I was curious. Yeah. So like, not I know that's like murky water sometimes, but exactly. it's always, but for me though, because you're, you said you praise people with like high standards and specific standards for me though, like a woman that I'm talking to, I, I appreciate if they have at least some relationship with their dad, as long as it's salvageable and, and like not out of the question, but. That's just me. Oh, no, that's totally fair for you when you're getting to know her. Absolutely. Mm. You 
that's fair game. And if she's like uncomfortable, then you know where you stand. You don't need to push. So social mm. tools. Yeah. Great. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Have a good night, guys. Good See you soon, Eden. Thank you. Oh, wait. Fuck, you I kicked never... off the wrong one. <laughs> got the wrong person. I'll just leave. It's fine. Bye, guys. No, no, no. Uh, all right, let's do one last one. One last one. He said he wants to do a day with both of you. He's been waiting for a while, and then we'll wrap up. Let's do Simon. Sweet. Oh, my God. It's me. What's up, guys? Oh, my God. It's you. Wait, wait. You're the person I said I was going to bring on, right? Yeah, Simon. Yeah. That's what don't worry, there's uh, only one Simon in the, in the queue, I'm sure. Uh, just making sure. All right, I'm going to take myself off. Let's you know, keep it like four, three, four, five minutes. Somewhere. Sweet. All right, cool. What's going on, guys? i got to say, I've been like distracted the entire stream because I can't figure out if Courtney's hair is purple or gray. or like. I get that all the time. So I use purple what color shampoo. Is it? It's, it's blonde, but I use purple shampoo to keep my like blonde hair blonde because it wants to turn like this dark color. And it's got like a purplish blue tint to it. It looks good, man. I think it like matches the whole like you kind of have like a soft face. I don't know if people ever say that, but you have like a soft face, so it kind of like completes the nice girl look. And then I look look at Eden, and you definitely look like somebody who I think is older than me. I don't want to like guess your age, or put um you on the spot, but you definitely look like somebody I would vibe with as like an older sister kind of figure. I think. Okay. That's so good though. That's good. You're saying I look old? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying that you look. What's the word? Like a fine wine. You are very rich. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I got to say, though, it's been such a long time that I have a conversation with girls in English. So this is actually kind of refreshing. I have, like, no expectations of, like, how this uh, conversation is going to go. Sorry, I'm just, like, adjusting a window on my thing. Um, but what's you're, like, so good at English, um, Eden. It's your second language, though. Yeah, because I live in, in Toronto, like, you know, we spoke Hebrew in, in the household. We only watched Hebrew TV, read Hebrew books, went to Hebrew school, like very sheltered for a long time. And then we went to public school, me and my brother. And so we had to learn like English. And I was, you know, I would walk around the streets, like talking Hebrew to people in Toronto. And they're like, what the fuck? you know, and I was like, what's wrong yeah. with these people? You know, um, so it was, yeah, it's kind of messed up, but that's why I speak. No, to hey, man. That's awesome. Would you say you like better in Hebrew? Can you give us some Hebrew? Can you say, oh, what's a good sentence? Alex said, okay, Simon, you're next. How would you say that in Hebrew? Okay, Simon, toshacha. Toshacha, oh. <laughs> Wait, you probably also know like how to talk smooth in Hebrew too, don't you? Like, if I was to say to Courtney, Courtney, you look so, like, like what I said before, Courtney, you have a soft face. How would I say that in Hebrew? Uh, it's a bit different to say soft face. Like, Okay, uh, let's say cute then. That's pretty typical. Uh, like it's a cute face. You know, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, a, copy. It, it's not, a, it's not a, a sexy language. <laughs> it's not, mm, mm. Yeah, it's not French, is it? Actually, what you I speak, speak is French. Hmm? You speak French. I don't speak French. Actually, my language is Alex kind of brought it up before off the cuff. I was like, wow, how did you know? I actually speak Japanese, Asians, Asian language. Oh, wow. That's what I do. And in my mind, like French is like a flower language because it's always like, je m'appelle de classe, c'est de classe. It's like kind of swirls like this. But Japanese, in my mind, is much more flowery because a lot of the verbs end in like ta. So if I wanted to say Courtney was cute, I could say like, Courtney wa kawaii, kawaii katta. It's like very, I don't know, in my mind, it's like a wave. Is that weird? I think that. No, I think that makes actually sense. It makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So wait, the whole dating coach thing, do you know someone by the name of Mystery? I don't, perhaps. I'm not no. Sure. I guess he's not a dating coach, is he? Do you, have you ever heard of him, Courtney? Mystery? I have not, no. Yeah. I mean, the whole reason why they call him Mystery is because he's like a magician. So he's like a mystery. Wow, sparkly. No, he's like a pickup artist. Like the old school pickup artists. It's like a history lesson. It's like old school pickup artists. Space gets taken over, apparently, by um, these guys in RSD. And then, like, Alex comes on the scene and turns everyone straight again. Mystery was like um, a dating coach as well. So I was wondering if you knew, but how did you get into that? How does somebody get become a dating coach? I meant, so I'm a dating coach, but I'm, I don't really consume a lot of that stuff. Like I like to make my content as authentic as possible. So I really rarely watch anybody. I'm not really on the online coaching community as much. I want to get there and like, you know, but I, I post and I ghost. Um, I'm not really like huge on social media in that sense. I do it just for my brand, to be honest. Yeah, no worries. Uh, but uh how did I get into dating coach? Well, 
I started off as a co-host with, um, with another girl on a show that some of you guys might know. And we did really well. We went viral on TikTok, on YouTube. And then from there, we went our separate ways. And so I decided to continue with my own brand. So mm-hmm. um, just continue. And then I got my certification as a dating and sex coach. So there is a certificate. Cool. I need to get, I need to figure out how to get one of those things. Not yeah. the sex certificate, but like a dating coach. Because yeah. my friends are always just like asking me. Because generally I talk to Asian girls more than like white girls. So my friends who are white are like, how do you talk to them? I'm just like, bro, they're just, they're people too. Turns out that, you know, if you just talk to them like they're humans, then it works good. But actually I was thinking this might be kind of fun, right? Do you do like uh, boot camps or anything like that? Like in-person stuff or is it just online? Um, so, yeah, um, not yeah, it could be something I'm planning in, in the future down the line when I'm ready for that. But I do private coaching with referrals only. Like I do get some online requests to do that. But yeah. Ah, damn. Alex came in on the setup. Oh, oh. Tom Floss. Simon, okay. I have a question. Where exactly are you from? <laughs> Where do you think I'm from? I have no idea because you said English is your, you sound British, but you said English is I not sound British. English. Yeah, and you, That's you, said, new. You, you also said that you speak Japanese, but you look yeah. quite as fuck. So I, I, have no, I have no idea where you're from, bro. Uh, so I'm actually, I live in Sydney, Australia, and English is my first language. I learned Japanese, like, when I was 22 or something. And, like, people confuse me as a Canadian, actually, because I have, like, a hang on the R's, rather with the Australian accents, like, oh, as I an thought, example. I thought, I thought you said you don't speak English much. No, I don't speak English with girls much. I generally have conversations in Japanese. You just like go for Japanese girls mainly? Mainly the girls I mean should in right now are Japanese, yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, anyway, let's kick it off. So Eden, uh would you go on a second date with Simon? Uh no, I didn't really feel like there was anything there. For Courtney? us. No, that's fine. Yeah. No, no for me either. I just wrote down a few small things. Um, I wouldn't say older sister. I would say younger sister instead. Uh, just a small adjustment right there. I also think you did most of the talking. Uh, I would ask more questions and like not go on like too many tangents. Uh, but yeah, those are like the quick. I mean, there's obviously the generic stuff I've been telling a lot of people, which is he needs more sexual attention, to platonic. But I think that goes yeah. without saying. So I'll just let the girls give the rest of the feedback. I think they said I, it. I Sorry. think one thing for me is that like whenever you asked about was it mystery. And neither of us knew who that was. And then you, you know, told us about that. I think that was fine, but obviously I don't think either of us were like super interested. You could kind of tell by your face and body language. And so I just kind of would have like nipped that off, you know, moved on to the next question. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I, one, one thing. Yeah. I never talk about pickup or manosphere stuff with girls. It like, it bores the shit out of them. I never bring this stuff up. That's like, relevant in the in our little sphere and community i would never bring that up to like the average girl maybe i would bring it up with eden because she's sort of in the community as well but with like courtney i would never bring it up it would just be like like they they, yeah. they don't know they don't care it's like like most most the outside perception of the pickup community is that it's a bunch of dorks like it's not a positive <laughs> perception, so I, w- I would never like play into it at all yeah that's good i mean to truthfully to be honest with you i'm actually attracted to neither of you girls so if i seem platonic i suppose that's because it actually kind of is platonic, but I thought I'd give it a shot just to expand the uh, rubber comfort zone, as you said before, Alex. I also want to add that I'm a John convert, so I like I started with Anthony, and then when you guys had that feud, I like was interested in what you were saying because John has a bit of a record of like talking uh, tall tales, but your content is like so much more accessible and nice. So thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, but yeah, cool, man. Thanks for coming on. All good. Take care, buddy. All right, cool. Well, that was fun. Uh, we had good good viewership. I think we had some good. What were your uh, like favorite? What's your favorite number one pick out of all of these? That's who gets, who gets the gold medal. I don't remember names, so that's I'm really bad with. I no, just try to describe the guy and all. Um, it would have to be between the second guy. The, the only one that I said that I would actually go on a second date with, or maybe I said two, I can't remember. I think Johnny was, was, was one of them. Was it? Johnny. Was it? That sounds familiar. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. That'd probably be my top pick. 
Courtney and Johnny sitting on a tree. K I S I N G. <laughs> the last okay. guy I talked to, his name was Johnny. That's kind of interesting. Oh, she's got a Johnny thing. <laughs> well, she's got a little thing for Johnny. Uh, okay, what about you, Eden? Um, <laughs> you guys know Jake and Jackson took the cake for me. Jake and um, Jackson, yeah. I, Jake, Jake was more like more my like more fluid and more organic. Jackson was uh, was more. I don't say amateur, but like he was good, but just wasn't. Jackson yeah. was the guy with the glasses, high yeah. school kid, and then Jake was um, was the one that said like I've been waiting to go on a date with Ethan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think it's no coincidence that the two top guys, you know, they're big fans of the show. I mean, I think there's something to it. You know, maybe you watch a lot of PWF, yeah. and suddenly your game gets good. I don't know. You know, I'm not making that claim. I'm just saying. You know, like that's just kind of what I'm noticing. Um, okay, cool. Um, yeah, so let's do you want to plug? So, you want to plug your channel, Eden? Yeah, um, it's E Rodic, the brand on YouTube, Instagram. My personal Instagram is Eden Lee Middleman. I think I'm gonna go private soon, but it's just my name. Um, and my website is e Rodic, the and that's where you can find me. Oh, really? Why are you thinking about going private? I just kind of don't need my personal shit. I don't know. I have my brand's Instagram, which is small, and I just don't, you know. I'm are a grown woman. I'm tired. Are you, are, you, are you getting too many dick pics, Eden? Is that what's going on? No. I mean, I'm used to that. but <laughs> She's like, too many. <laughs> uh, okay, Courtney, uh, do you want to plug anything? Yeah, just my Instagram is my name with two Ys, so Courtney, extra Y dot Robinson. That's pretty much all I use. Cool. Well, I appreciate both of you. You guys were both great. I mean, I'm going to stay on for another 10 minutes, do an after show. If you want, you both are welcome to stay. Uh, but that's the end of this segment. But yeah, I appreciate both of you guys coming on. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Courtney, sure. it was so nice meeting you. Yeah, it was nice meeting both of you guys as well. But it's great. Thanks. For sure. Have a good night. I'm Bye. sure we'll have you on again soon, Eden. Bye. 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 Have a good night. All right. Cool. We'll just do okay. some Q&A for 10 minutes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Greg's like <laughs> open panel, open panel. I don't know if I have the brain. This is the second podcast of the day. First one went for two hours, two and a half hours. So I don't know if I have the brain capacity to open the panel, but I'll just like quickly answer some Q and A before we wrap up. Uh, good stream, Alex. Yee. Yeah. All right, that was good. Yeah, I thought it was good. It was. It was a good combination. When is the next live uh, speed dating? Uh, I think Tuesday night. Yeah, we already have some girls locked down. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> open panel three more hours. Let's go. Open panel for 15 minutes. Uh, okay, fine. Let me drop the link. We can open it up for like 10 minutes. <laughs> sure. Yo, here's the link. Uh, I'm so pretty dead. Yeah, I'm in talks with Social Animal. He said he's going to come on my podcast at some point. Uh, we're just coordinating. I appreciate the super chat, buddy. Alex, can I get a video of talking to one of these people under your wing? Under your wing, making this Tinder profile, stuff like that. And they can't see who has to have words. Rosario, get a video of you taking one of those people under your wing. You're making uh yeah well you know like you can see jake he's like uh you know like greg i mean he's not like officially my student but you know like i think he's learned a good amount from me uh jake he is actually a client of mine he's done a few coaching calls with me so you can see so yeah there's plenty of guys uh like that you know uh they already exist uh yeah okay uh i'm sure i'm not even close i think there's some people who stream for like 48 hours How do you explain when uh, tell you tell people? So sexualizing isn't like necessarily like hey, talking about very sexual topics. It can be very subtle. It's just being playful and flirty. Maybe sexualizing isn't the right word. But that's the word I always use. It's like having that like man to woman vibe where you're kind of like, it's like you're the man, she's the woman. I don't know how else to describe it. But it's like that kind of vibe you see uh, when Hugh talks, you see that vibe. When Johnny talks, you see that vibe. When I talk, you definitely see a lot of that vibe when Marcus talks. It doesn't necessarily mean just like saying explicitly uh, sexual things. 
Uh, always an excellent show. Thanks, buddy. Alex, can you just stream the rest of the night? Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, okay. Let me quickly, I'll just mass spam, bring everyone else for five minutes. <laughs> I was a little disappointed. I kept saying to link the chat. I took your notes. I got new lighting. I'm still in the bathroom, but I got new lighting, and you can see my face now. Nice, dude. Wait, what was your, what was your name? What name were you under? Is Black is uh, Black Pill Medicine Comeback Dad? I have I have two channels. Oh, this is the Comeback Dad. I didn't, I didn't see you backstage. No, Yo, I, wasn't, I couldn't find the. It was link. on last week's, I think. Yeah, I yeah, didn't Alex. see. Oh, are you on? Alex, can I get your opinion on something? Me and Mr. Slave had a debate on Greg's channel. It was pretty good. And I think, like, the number, your lay count correlates with what you're into sexually. Like, Mr. Slave is so, like, weird because he has a multiple hundred lay count. Like, I, I have a high lay count. I'm not into fucking. Bro, lay, lay like, count is retarded. Dennis but, but like, e even with, like, the BDSM shit, like, no one's doing that at, like, 1 to 10 or 1 to 20. Like, you know what I'm saying? He said there's no correlation, but what would you say? Like, I think there's a correlation between the lay count and what you do sexually. I don't think so. Uh, I'm actually, like, fairly tame compared to, like, most of my friends. Like, But, know, like, you weren't doing BDSM shit when you had a lay count of 1 to 10. Like, you know, you had to up your lay count, and then you got into as, it. As, okay, maybe I'm, I'm oversimplifying it. As you're... When you get to a point where you're more comfortable with like your sexuality and with girls, you you try things that you naturally maybe have been fantasizing about. So when you're like at lay count one or two, you you're still into like the like dominance, but you just maybe are too nervous to try it. But as you get to like a point where you're more comfortable, you, you'll. But it's not like it's not like if you go from 100 to 200 or 100 to 500, you're gonna like get into crazier shit. That's not how it worked for me. It's just like when I got to a certain point, I was like, oh, you know, I tried BDSM. I like it. But it's not like it kept getting crazier and crazier and crazier. If anything, like my sex life is less crazy now because it, uh, like when I was at like maybe 100, I was experimenting with shit. Like, I don't know, like crazy role plays where like I remember one so time. it was getting crazier or not crazier. Uh, but um... I was like trying shit, but now I already know everything I like. So it's like I'm, I'm kind of back to more like basic so you would say it's true then after like before a certain point and then after that certain point at all dot i mean we don't have to debate yeah, i just thought I, it was I just, I just think as you're like as you're becoming more yeah. sexually successful you're more likely to like yeah try shit but... i just thought it was interesting you should watch the debate we had oh god it's really I hard destroyed to destroy mr slave i i destroyed him oh yeah okay maybe i'll check it out <laughs> maybe i'll check it out yeah it's pretty hard for me to get through a Mr. Slave debate. Nah, but like I'm entertaining, you know. You like me, so you like me, so you can watch it. Ah, huh, that's what you think. What, Alex? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, anyone do you want to, anyone have anything else? Yo, Scrognarok. I, why haven't I seen you before? I don't know. I just uh, jumped on pretty recently. Just started engaging with this content were you on earlier or you just didn't get chose or what i didn't try to jump in oh, i i, I was you. just watching and then i i don't know i was just like i saw the link and i was like i'll jump in you should After try show. it sometime yeah, you, should try, you should try going on a Hello, what's up, Johnny? yo what's up you, you if you find the channel know. randomly you got to do it at least once that's the yo, that's we got the rule on this channel yeah <laughs> I school okay. kid really like the experiment you did tonight with uh what made you think to do that bro with your looks me oh well i mean like multiple streams ago i mean people have always just been like screaming about the black pill so i was like i'll spit trash game or wear a mask and so i just did that it was more it was more like a troll but like inadvertently yeah. it like worked out as an experiment but i mean people are still gonna say the same well, could, as before so yeah she just there, waited two more saying, minutes to take the i know off. i know i was I, <laughs> I didn't even think about it it just like i was like all right the shticks up i'll fucking yeah take my mask off um, so they're, they're, they're saying there's so much of a chat that your chadness resonated through the mask like, <laughs> the, the mask I'm, doesn't adequately cover up like how much of a chad you are i'm literally not even a chad to begin with so i don't know like, what like, i'm not making this up that's what they were saying in the chat uh the chat, it's not um, just it's not just all about looks. You do need social skills. That's what I'm trying to teach these guys. Because I, I'm proof of that. When I was in high school, I looked really 
good looking, but I had no social skills and I had traits of autism. So I had to learn social skills and, tra and get over those traits. Acting really helped. <laughs> they actually made fun yeah. of me for that because they're like, oh, you're teaching them acting courses now? I'm like, no. You I'm should add looks for L. What's that? It's not looks for L, it's Stefan. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> he tricked me. Yeah. He got me. Yeah, I was using a voice changer this whole time. But don't you think that's all confirmation bias? Because whenever I go to debate black pillars, all they have is lays from Tinder. They don't have any like cold approach. Like looks for L, he just has like all lays from Tinder. So I think it's just confirmation bias. Well, I'm, well, I'm currently writing a paper on the whole topic, and I think it has to do with because they're extremely depressed and suicidal. Uh, when you're depressed, your brain slowly goes back to its primitive state. And there's been studies that show that when you're that depressed, you'll fixate on the primal urges like sex and all that stuff, and you won't get off it. And I think that's what it's the result of. I don't think it's really doing that. Because when you look at interviews of former Black Pill people who've had relationships and have had sex, uh, when you look at those things, uh, they realize that, well, I still had the problems after I got laid. And I was very similar. I was I was a virgin until 23, and I, was, I had a lot of issues. And then when I lost my virginity, I'm like, oh, the issues are still here. Shit. <laughs> like, that's, yes. that's, 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 one of, that's one of my favorite books, Dennis. Is it really? Great minds think alike, Alex. Great minds think alike. You, you didn't get that from me? You, you saw um, it yourself? Are you being serious, though, Alex? Like, you like this book? RSD, I, oh, RSD I, Tyler I talk, recommended yeah, it. I talk about this book all the time, yeah. Oh, I've never heard you talk about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold it up again so people can see. That's one of my favorite books. The Winner Effect by Ian Robertson. The that's Wiener Effect. Because that's what he was talking about. <laughs> like, when you feel like a loser, your brain actually lowers the amount of um, dopamine um, and other chemicals I can't think of. But, like, when, when, dying, you're, when you feel like a loser, dopamine, your brain actually gets shut that. off. As opposed to feeling like a winner, where you, you you're like switched on. I've known I've had moments like that where if my life just sucks and I'm losing. I can't even think straight, you know. But when you're winning, you can. Yeah. Let me, let me very quickly explain the summary of the book, and I think everyone should read it because again, it's one of my favorite books. But um, it talks about that winning and losing isn't just like a one-off thing. You actually get into cycles. So if you won yesterday and you won the day before, you're more likely to win today. Meaning, like, if you go, you know, like, you have a good interaction with a girl, then you have a, another good interaction with a girl. By the third girl, your brain will be in this, like, winning spiral, and you will do better. And it talks about, like, the neuroscience of that. Like, your brain, and you saw off a story of, like, people, you know, like, big politicians and uh, people from figures, uh, people from history as, like, examples. It talks about how winning or losing alter the brain chemistry. It talks about how, like, on the flip side, you know, you're having a series of L's, right, like, it can be really hard to pull yourself out of it. You like find your performance just sucking for no reason. Yes. So like, there's these, like these spirals and like how you have to like, eat, like make sure you like minimize your negative spirals and maximize and really ride out your positive spirals so that you overall can like. Uh, go you you got to be careful yeah. there because uh, black pillars are going to clip that and use that as proof that the black pill exists in terms how of, uh, in Wait, terms of that like. In terms yeah. of like bad looking guys having negative reinforcement their entire life, and then they're gonna associate well, that no, with like them non functioning. But that's actually true. Yeah, if you mean, true. I know, I know, but that's what I'm if, saying. Like, if you wanted to take, to that, confirming that is going to only further. No, but I have no problem confirming that. That is true. Yes, good looking guys are more likely to get like more positive experiences. So, in terms of like the winner effect, a good looking guy does have a substantial advantage over a guy who's like a little average looking. But, you know, it just kind of is what it is. But those good-looking guys still enter negative spirals, uh, you know, maybe due to have shit again. But, yes, it is yeah. easier for a good-looking guy to get out of a negative game spiral than, like, a bad-looking guy. Alex, you know what would be you – know um, so like, is I and I would be 100% down to do this – is uh, getting a, a good-looking black pillar and putting me against them in cold approach and, and seeing what happens in a video. Just, would, just, just, just ask, just it ask looks for their L, whole bro. theory. It would disprove their whole theory. That's why I'm saying they don't go out. And if you want to um, apply <laughs> the winner effect to um, like real to everyday stuff, um, Tyler talks about like small wins, like just like frame everything as a small win, you know, like 
I went and said hi to her, even if the set didn't open, just be like, oh, I went to said hi to her. That's a win. I took action. Yeah. And then um, it talks about like boxing. If you if you want to get good, you face a weaker opponent and a weaker opponent. So like you'll start feeling yourself after you knock out two, three people. But there's scrubs, you know, but when you get to a an actual good one you'll you'll feel like a winner so you can apply the same thing with girls you know like when you get to the club talk to like a six you know talk to a six warm up and then go to the eight or nine you know like warm up with some sixes get some wins with some sixes and then work your way up so jake how would we do that experiment when you guys have to like be in the same city i'll i'll fly to miami for that you would okay Whoa. Yeah, so um, nobody's Jake, beating Jake, looks for at? L in a quarter. Piece. I would that's, take the same happy. competition. Jake, the pro the problem at? is that most black pillars won't show their face. I wonder who, like, who do you think would be? We need a black pillar who's willing Caduceus. to show their face. Me. Oh, but they don't think game <laughs> exists. So that's no, the Johnny, problem. Johnny, your game is good. That's not black pill. Caduceus? Oh, I'm black pill. It's all, it's all my no, yeah, no. Johnny, join no. the winning team. Should be flexing? Is he a black pill? Yeah, mm. but I don't know if he'll say that he, he's he's that good looking. I'll have to ask him what he rates himself. The yeah, QB like, is just super tall. Like, looks for L would not do that experiment. You've seen pictures of him? He sent you them. Yeah, I've seen I've seen pictures of him. Nobody on his panel is competing with looks for L. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just looks for L. I've seen the proof. I've seen the proof. I'm not competing with him either. Are I'm you not. joking? Like. I'm se I've seen I've seen several receipts. It's I'm not competing with him. He's, uh, if he's seen the receipts, I haven't seen any. That's why I'm skeptical. But if he wants to like show me some, like I'll believe him. But he's he's showed enough people as Wait, much as much as I disagree with a lot of what he says. He, he showed he, you. He's, he's who's, legit. Who's looks for L? Which what's his actual name? Um, my he, no, he, no, he doesn't. That I that would be doxing him. I'm not gonna say his name. Uh, whatever, whatever. I don't know who he is on here. I, I don't remember <laughs> that name on here. He's the black pillar guy that comes like on with the, yeah, the yeah, chat profile have, like, picture. Just, yeah, he, doesn't he doesn't have his like own channel. Face. He uses like the chat, whatever fucking avatar. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think he would. Yeah, he would be a good contender. I don't think he would do it though because it would involve. Maybe he'll do it if we can blur out his face though. I can yeah, I think. I think you All would. Right, let me let me float it because the we need a good looking black pillar like someone because if we like Caduceus. Like Caduceus will just be like, well, I'm not that good looking, you know, and like that's that just kind of <laughs> it's gonna be somebody who doesn't have that good. It can't be like that's the thing, is it can't be like that good of like a game, you know what I mean? Like it's gotta be a uh, black who doesn't have that good a game because that's yeah, like, I, I, I don't think looks for all. I mean, if your game is tight, it shouldn't yeah. matter. Well, I think uh, I mean, looks for L doesn't like really game, associate. Right? Well, Luke Farrell doesn't associate his approach with girls as game. He just he says does have a point about social that. skills developed from being good looking. That's, Wait, there's that's only one point. black pillar in this like group of us, right? It's only you. Looks Farrell, right? But and, he, and he, black pill medicine. Not right? a real looks Farrell. Yeah. Is, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not the real one. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna we're gonna clear, clear this up right now. I'm gonna change his name, fucker. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'm on my phone. I can't edit my name. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. No, I have a question. So, what do you think about this? So, I literally used to get zero play, zero hose, and I did not know game at all. Like, my social skills are super bad. And as soon as I started looking at game, like learning how to talk to girls and have a conversation, I started pulling off them. That was like, my exact situation, too, Johnny. Exact. Yeah. Yes. I walking out playing with my Wii. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was my situation too. It just teaches you how to frame it and the steps to go through. You know, like step mm -hmm. one, yes, one approach. Regardless. Step two, baller. hook in. Step three, sexual hook point. Step four, pull in. Like, it just gives you like the framework, and then once you have the framework, it's very useful. Well, St Stefan is not like a really a black pillar. He's more of like a purple pillar, so he, he's not there necessarily like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Alex, do you think like the dating space is a good space to start a business, like the PUA space? Giving advice? No, it's, it's, uh, it's one, one of the worst industries. It's oversaturated. You, 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 I don't mean to pocket watch, but you seem you said you made like a good amount a month. Yeah, I do make a good amount of money. You know how long I've been at this though? My business didn't was didn't become like actually profitable until like the third year. I mean, if you can go through like three or four years of pain, then yeah. But I appreciate you guys. I got to do my niche. Because don't you think there's like Johnny. 
don't you think time. like now's the time for, if like a PUA guy wanted to come up because like there's no real good PUA advice now. It's just like black pill or like there's no good PUA advice. Uh, I mean, I'm saying like RSD was mainstream and now like black pill is mainstream as opposed to there's a lot of like outside factors, right? So Alex talked sorry, Alex, I don't mean to interrupt you, but there's a lot of things that Alex has talked about in the past that like are very true. Like this is the only category of where self-improvement that is looked at negatively by the broader like world. Right? If like, you frame it as social like, skills though, like. Yeah. But even, even like that, like getting better with women is not a, uh, like a, it's like a frowned upon thing. Now I, it, I, 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 would frame it, no, I would say social skills. That's how, or what I'm thinking, my online marketing, Alex, we talked about this last time, but oh, I've been making some plans and, you know, social skills, like that's how I would finish, especially in today. Everybody's competing, competing for You're, you're absolutely wrong though about the black pill taking over. If anything, it's the red pill, uh, pearly things, fresh and fit. Those are channel who are like at a million Hamza, all the biggest channels in the space are red pill. They're not black pill. We are right. the biggest black mm -hmm. pill. And he's only at like, he has less like, than me. So they're yeah. not, it's definitely not, or potentially blue pill, like uh trip. Even, even like, then though, they, I'm sorry, even then they, they don't talk about like, like we were saying, the fr once you have the framework, it really helps. And they're not teaching the framework open to close, you know, they're not teaching like how do, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of people. There's a whole bunch of people who do teach that. Austin Summers, Vadim, me, Coach Cal, uh, you know. All right. Yeah, UMP. Yeah. You're uh, just like yeah. more familiar with the marketplace than I am. But I, I, I'm just saying ever since RSD left, I feel like they left a big opening. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like this space is so oversaturated, honestly. <laughs> uh, to me, I think if you have a niche, if you have a niche that solves a problem, you're good. Like the comeback dad, mine is to help people who are at risk in the process of or who have lost their family make a full or partial comeback in their family's lives. And that's what I did. So it, it ticks all the the most successful business boxes. Plus, I, I'm working with John Somnes. He's helping me with it. So I think Wait, you like lost, with your self-help, I think you if, 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 like self-help with the dating. I think then you'll be good because there's tons of things you can niche down in dating. Wait, yeah, black I like pill medicine. Alex, were you texting? Black pill medicine did. Were you black pill before your divorce? years ago or were you black pill because of that he's not black -pilled. i'm not yeah i'm not black pill in this sense i'm black pill in the sense that to me the black pills are the harsh realities of life that pull back your current view of something so let's he, say uh, not like a black pill in the way like you're thinking yeah, yeah. but i do help, i try to help those guys out in the space which is why i get a lot of criticism and they're like, oh, why are you even in the space if you have kids and a family? And I'm like, well, do you guys not want kids and a family? Because all the research says that's what you guys want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, there's, yeah. there's a lot of guys who have families. I don't, I don't, I don't think anything is wrong with that. Like, I don't think that makes you like less qualified. Yeah. You want a family one day, Alex? Uh, probably not. How old are you? 32. 32. Oh, God, you're old. That's just oh, what he says yeah. at the club, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't really care. I don't know. Maybe I will in five or ten years. I don't know. Right now, I'm pretty happy with just having a girlfriend and a dog. But we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll change. How's that, Cab? Are you like that? I oh, shit. It's top notch. Yo. Another business I'm working on, Alex, is uh, mykratombox.com, like a monthly service of Kratom, you know, like a monthly subscription box. <laughs> What Dennis is selling that? himself <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, my Kratom box. Um, because I always go to the vape shop and I like it's annoying. So if you just have like a monthly box of Kratom. Um, yeah, I guess it has potential. I don't I'm just know. just a high school I mean, kid. You can't I think, uh, I think, yeah, I mean, I think. Um, or how um, much do you uh, up on? Like how much do you up on? How much what? How much do you usually grab? Um, I get like 200 gram bags for $50 to sell to the store, something like that. And how long does that last you for? Um, maybe like a week. I'm just trying to do some market research. Wait, what's Kratom? 
<laughs> um, it, it's kratom is a plant and it basically like it's kind of like weed there's different strains some make you happy some like relieve pain it's it's um hit me up dm me and i'll got i got you on dude some i'm a high school kid bro you're gonna yeah, it's, it's, it's legal door, it's 100 on. legal it's a plant if you're 18 bro. anyway this has been fun guys or 21 i don't know what it is yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap up too i want to keep this under three hours so it's more digestible any closing thoughts anyone um, you're a great guy, Alex. I like what you do. Keep up the good work. Let me know if I can ever help you with anything. I'll be more than happy to. <laughs> Thank Dennis, you, I appreciate your dedication oh, and rigor. I, I enjoy the magic. I like it. Too. I like it a lot. I enjoy yeah, this. It's been really interesting to observe. Yeah. Hey, you're just a bystander. Are you going to write a research paper for class now? Yeah. Spend Let me know when that PUA, stops. Spend the night in the PUA live stream. I'll link it to you. Speed dating. Jackson, uh, I appreciate your creativity. You, uh, yeah. Really also, Jake, you didn't answer my question about where are you based at, though, because I mean, honestly, we, that experiment we could probably set that in, up in if the, you're anywhere near. No, oh, not with yeah, you, no. not 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 with you, Jackson. Because oh, not with me. Care. I'm talking about oh. Looks for L. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But Looks for L is not. Yeah, definitely not for Boston. Let me actually, I'm gonna actually, I actually like this idea. I'm going to think the, the hardest part is the fact that most black pillars don't want to show their face. That's the hardest thing to overcome with this experiment. <laughs> I already oh, I already messaged him. I can convince we, him. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do want to make that happen. I think that would be epic. Yo, Stefan, what beef do you have with Greg? Uh, the beef's pretty much over. Oh, you guys are it, good? Yeah, it got boring after a while. <laughs> He just like repeats the same straw man's and he uses late count as a cope. I saw you section. post like a picture of a chick and you're like, rate Greg's girl, two, three, or four. Like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, options. Because he calls every chick he pulls like a seven, an eight, or a nine, and most of them are like fives. And a have couple you seen sisters. my receipts? Um, <laughs> I saw like a couple. One of your receipts was really good, actually. Like, um, Alex, have you seen my receipts? No. Can we do a stream because I'm tired of getting called an incel? Like, can we do a stream of? Well, I'll if just you know you're not an incel, all, then all it, doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. You know you're not an incel, so don't worry. Now, nah, Dennis is clearly yeah. not an incel. But, but you saw still. some of them, right? No, I've seen multiple. I've seen like I didn't watch the whole stream, but I saw you pull up at least like two or three girls. Hotties or what? Hotties or what? Uh, why are you seeking validation so hard? Who gives a shit? Nah, that that second girl was pretty hot to be honest. Um, that that girl that you were like had your arm around in the club or whatever she was. Yeah. Doing. Yeah. All right. Cool. Anyway, I want to wrap up. Uh, <laughs> thanks everyone for coming on. Thank you, high school kid. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, uh, Dennis. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, uh, Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, girl. Appreciate y'all. Tomorrow we're gonna be back with another live stream. Uh, we're gonna have some cool debates tomorrow. I think tomorrow's gonna be the Erudite versus Greg debate. That's gonna be fun. Uh, we got this Red Pill GT <laughs> maybe that'll be fun. So, and then the next speed dating stream will very likely be on Tuesday. Uh, we hit 260 live viewers, so I'd like to hit 300 on the next one. Appreciate y'all. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and have a good night. Lake.